open sharing of delightful acquisition training resources based on machine learning. 严记超安的郑静雅，郑州 Technical College 郑州 Channel. Abstract. In order to solve the problem problem of pluralized causes by data explosion in the traditional open sharing method of data education training resources, this paper proposes a machine learning based on open sharing method. Based on the National Data Control Protocol standard, a control protocol of education, education, and training resources sharing services based on GCCP gateway is constructed with the support of the control protocol. The production machine is designed by using machine learning ability. <coughs> Support sector machines is used to process resource data, and resource classification is re realized with the support of a cloud computing mode. Resource is open and shared. Experimental results show that the processed open sharing method based on machine learning has short resources time and low massacre launch probability and the security of the method is improved. <coughs> Keywords: Machine learning, digitization, education practice, resource sharing. First, introduce intro, introduction. Interning the twenty one six twenty first century, China's higher education has achieved under. Unprecedented rapid development, entering a new river of transform <coughs> transformation from the elite education to popular education. Colleges and universities have increasingly become the gathering center of a larger larger number of Talents and resources in the region, and became the main driver force and source of re regional rapid and coordinated development. However, <coughs> in the great development of higher education, there is a serious shortage of educational resources. Especially high quality ones. The traditional action between people's demand for education resources and the insufficient supply of education resources start out in this contest <coughs> to pro promote the sharing of education resources has become in. Three um, strategic choice for deepening the <coughs> sustainable development of higher education. In recent years,、uh, great achievements have been made in the construction of higher education resources sharing, but due to many <coughs> resources. Such as technology,、uh, demand, funds, management, and the system, the the action fa faction of digital education resources.
sharing among colleges and universities is not good, and uh, there is still a big gap between the practical results of sharing and people's original ideas, which needs to be improved day by day. <coughs> The development and uh, uh, practice of multi network and uh, computer technologies provide the means to resize, uh, realize the sharing of higher education resources. In recent years, cloud computing is becoming more and more uh, familiar with the people. Is the correct hot topic has received exp expensive uh, attention. <coughs> Cloud computer computing is regarded as the next revolution in, in science and technology. It is not only the development of the technology, but also resources, uh, uh, services, concept, and uh, service mo model, it uh, will fundamentally change the way we work and uh, the business model. Cloud computing technology has been initially applied in some fields and uh, industries with its <coughs> powerful functions. The popularity, the popularity of network technology in various fields provide this a uh, versational way for the for, share, for the sharing and uh, exchanging of information and knowledge the internet has become a, a public communication flag forward in which network based learning uh, content can be provided by almost any varied media. The this for and for framework is a traditional teaching activity. It is an important embellishment of the moment as an <coughs> imitation of traditional classmate or tricking. Modern distance network education has developed has development rapidly. Unlike uh, conventional skills education, distance education, and online classroom have gradually become the mainstream of education at home and abroad. In this case. The opening and the sharing of digital education and uh, training resources is very urgent. Digital network sharing the uh, education as an important uh, foreign uh, formal means to support the problem of educational equality and uh, uh, supplement uh, balance is an important basis for building a learning uh, society and uh, realizing lifelong uh, vocational skills education. At present, the integration in development between education, training, and uh, commution, computer is still not mature enough and there is a great room of uh, for progress <coughs> progress. At present the common sharing method are the web based resources sharing method and the SSW based framework sharing method. These two method need a longer resources time when we produce the in the face of today's data problem. The an open sharing method of uh, dedicated education um, training resources based on 
Machine learning is a process to solve the problems mentioned above. <coughs> it means uh, setting a curve face is an is an follows using machine learning's ability to design support ma uh, vector machine using suppose vector machine to process uh, resources data uh, to achieve resources classification under the uh, support of cloud communicating mode resources are open and shared it uh, means contribution lies um, in the optimization of response time and uh, memory logical probability, which improves the um, security of the method. Two, building training resources, uh, sharing and uh, <coughs> collaboration, service control protocol, the control protocol of digital education and uh, training resources, sharing and uh, Callability resources is uh, realized by common control equipment to realize the interlinking inter permission resources sharing and uh, collaborative service of digital education and uh, training resource. According to the national standard uh, GBTI, uh, the medical control processor is a kind of protector which is a, a situation for intelligent inter inter interconnection, uh, sharing and uh, mm, uh, subterranean such more shared resources. The GCCP protocol here we can say is uh, sharing in the uh, in VR one. <coughs> For this picture, the GCCP network is composed of general environment control control configurators, um, gateways, and uh, another core components. Among them. The general experiment is generally the general control assessment of the network sharing resource platform. The contractor is in the is the equipment in the sharing resource platform that operates and controls the natural network implement such as the connectors. Uh, controllers and the intergent control terminal. The configurator is mainly responsible responsible for complete in the completing the configuration of other equipment in the sharing source front network which assigns the network ID and uh, decides ID to other equipment. Uh, this, uh, this picture uh, flawed. The file, the file request, request device issues a file transfer uh, request for the transfer of resources files in the files resource platform and the device and the device holding the file, the shared resource relies on the transfer of shared file data. The the requested device for sharing file data can request the holding device to transfer the uh, file from any point. During the file transfer, transfer, it can start. Pause or start to file transfer according to the uh, actual situation. The transfer work 
uh, processed by the file request device through the file total length and already obtains the field data quantity to judge whether the file transfers complaints and soon the finger to the special phase transfer of a file's data is shown. Machine learning is a kind of learning from method in which a machine can avoid contacting its machine except complex logic and relationship by measuring the learning data. Through this learning method, a classifier's IEA, IE, a support vector machine can process the shared information, uh, classify, uh, classify it uh, reasonable, and uh, transmit it in segments according to the classification resource so as to insert the infection and uh, situation of transformation. Assuming that the resource sample has only two classes, A and B, this is a learning function. That it belongs to the deck mission functions of the sample in order to judge whether a learning function is good or bad. The compact of classification interview is introduced. The so-called classification interview is the generation in discourse between sample classes. Then, then the best classification effect is to uh, maximize the classif uh, classes classification interval. Let's say that the uh, vector of a sample is labeled uh, minutes 1 and plus 1, and the sample class is uh, labeled sums A and sums 1 or plus 1 in a library library space. Then the, sam the sample can be recorded as two for hyperplanes, the distance from the sample to the uh, hyperplane is defined as 3. Uh, the classification interval is uh, maximizes when the calculated <coughs> uh, value is maximum at, uh, at this point is uh, classification is um, complained. <coughs> to achieve uh, some resources open cloud sharing. Uh, come recollect it is uh, uh, transfer for the transfer the BOS mode into cloud. In Cape uh, Solo, it all transferred the uh, explored education and uh, training resources in the <coughs> resources coordinated way and uh, centralized the uh, scattered uh, servers and uh, computing the computing resources uh, then use the virtualization technology or to form the dungeon crew uh, educational resources pool on the uh, internet uh, provide the diff different terrain uh, interface original only through the fat act to the internet resources in the cloud uh, computation can cross the sources through a variety of the uh, thin cloud. <coughs> Table two. Uh, Expressing process of uh, resources sharing 
a period based on the machine learning. <coughs> Three shared uh, resources time exploiting results for different for different uh, sharing method. Memory link, memory link probability experiment and uh, analysis. Table four. Uh, experimental results of uh, memory link probability for different shares method. From the data in the table, we can see that the memory key link probability of the uh, resources sharing method based on machine learning is much lower that, than that of the, the other two methods. According to the results of the sharing uh, response time experiment, the design of a uh, sharing method of directly uh, education training resources based on the machine learning has a shorter response time, uh, lower <coughs> memory linkage uh, probability, and uh, higher over overall. Uh, Security. Many resources teaching resources of university information based on machine learning. Zheng Jingya and Yan Jichao, Zhengzhou Technical Technical College. Abstract: The act, uh, the accuracy of uh, mining implicate teaching resources of international. Universities is alone, so a method of mining implicate math implicate teaching resources in universities based on the machine learning is decided. Firstly, it designs the process of data mining, defines the problem, uh, connect and processes the data, uh, execute the mining. All the reason and uh, soon explains and uh, uh, evaluation it. The classification method of data mining is optimized in this paper. The classification technology is uh, natural network and the artificial uh, natural network on it is built by biological neutral uh, structure and the classification is uh, completed by biological transfer and uh, activation faction. Finally, the machine learning origin rhythm is improved and uh, the origin is updated by in introducing um, Momentum, momentum, scalar factor. In the construct experiment, it chooses the data set and uh, trains the performance parts, designs the process of data mining, and uh, counters the re relevant um, parameters of the data set. The experiment results show that the a uh, uh, traversy of the design <coughs> method is percent four, uh, percent four higher than that the uh, traditional method. Keywords: machine learning, information information teaching, recessive resources. Introduce one with the advantage of the 
information age, the application of information technology has been slowly um, penetrated into the into all areas of people's lives and uh, quality changes the way of people's lives. In this area of knowledge explosion, it is easy for people to get lost in the large amount of information. It is different of different to find effective information, which resource people to have a higher information uh, literacy. For a long time, the Cultivation of college students' information literacy mainly resides on the on information technology courses. Uh, however, the lack of information technology uh, curriculum harvest has been has has become a major problem in the cultivation of college students' information literacy. At the same time. It is not realistic to explain the information technology uh, curriculum hours in a short time. Therefore, looking for another way, information technology handle career mercies to cultivation college students' information lottery literacy is particularly important. At present, there are two main differences in um, definitions of IT implicit um, curriculum. IT curriculum ca um, curriculum may be those that uh, appear in the formal school formal school teaching plan under under the name of other course, but in fact carry out IT education, including those that are not included in the formal teaching plan but are pro um, provided by the information environment construction of the school. The handy categories of information technology mainly resource to the non-public educational express that is consciously or uh, unconsciously convinced or implanted to students in the soft and hard uh, environment of information technology education in the school context. It is uh, irreplaceable and has a function of teaching without teaching. It is an uh, intangible a sense of the school. In fact, the definition definition of these two courses is not a traditional teacher. Traditionally, the farmer mainly discusses the process of information education inside and outside classroom teaching, where the latter um, Foc um, focuses on the software and uh, hardware information environment of information technology. In the traditional process of mining the resources resources of IT teaching in colleges and universities, the the uh, accuracy of the results is low. So a mining method based on Machine learning is designed. It is environment environment lies in the use of biological analysis uh, structure to establish artificial nature network unit, and the use of biological transfer function and uh, activity function to complete the classification. Its focus is uh, to problem to improve the machine learning algorithms and introduce moments scarce factor. The final var result is that it's to modify the machine <coughs> the machine learning to 
ensure the effect to turn to teaching resource mining. Two, many resources, teaching resources of universal information technology based on machine learning. Design data mining process. Data mining is a uh, complete research through continuous interaction with the user. The results of mining at different stages of continuous feedback is complete. The whole process is thrown as follows. We can see these pictures process defining for determine. Problem definition. First, uh, clean the actual work of determining requirements. Second, two different mining in the evaluation learning algorithm. <laughs> Data processing generally includes emissions, noises, deriving, collection gap data. Normalization of natural uh, knowledge, respiration, and experience transformment is the um, possibility of the uh, inside or outside secure transfer in the evolution uh, application it can better better realize the summit evolution of TV university resources the uh, interfa interfaction I many at the advantages of natural network the BP network is used in the teaching referred uh, evolutional syst uh, system of modern distant education to construct machine mental uh, modes. Input different evolutions in that states and output teaching effects so as to evaluation teaching requirement and the teaching effect of more distant education. Theoretical and uh, actuarial. In order to solve, solve the problems in reaction and uh, highlight their own advantages, so and many value uh, valuable conclusions and uh, results are obtained. Data mining includes a variance of uh, analyzed methods of mining data sets analyze, get patients and uh, apply them of the which classification is a copying a plan and uh, classification methods have been well now will know how to classify the data correctly will directly <coughs> affect the accuracy of the mining resource and the effects effects of mining patients applications of uh, Classification include a variance of uh, problem areas such as test, multimedical, social networking, and uh, biological data. In action, there may be different problems in many different senses. Classification is a varying design device top topic and uh, its underlying ultimate relies heavy on data and uh, problem sections. The fair request designed issues a uh, fair transfer request 
for the transfer of resource files in the shared resource platform and the desired holding the shared resource relies the transfer of shared field data. The reflect desires for sharing file data can request the holding device to transfer the file from any point. During the file transfer, it can start pause or spot the field transfer according to the actual situation. The concrete work process by the field request divide through the field total length and already ob obtained the field data. Quantity to judge whether the field transfers computers We can see this picture. Structure of biological naturals. From this, uh, this picture, we can the price of natural transmitting information can be regarded as a uh, dynamic process of the. Mm, non logical system with multiple inputs and single outputs. The artificial and natural network processing arts as processes is shown in the uh, following figures. Artificial finger network arts. Pictured above is a classical RMP natural mode that mimics the basic stu uh, structure of biological nature, where is the input uh, natural, and for each in fact its resources input signals from uh, multiple multiple other ones, and the synapse intensities are expressed in real moment and uh, represent the uh, the values of the acts of each uh, nature on the another. Improve the machine learning uh, addresses. In this paper, it design and uh, improvement of machine learning algorithms is divided into two stages, uh, fund for forward stage and uh, fund prediction pre stage. In the um, feed forward stage, input sa samples are imported uh, from the input layer, uh, processes layer by layer and then transmitted to the output layer. When the actual output value of the update layer do not agree with the desired result, it is uh, corrected by the back uh, progression error. The back prog propagation of error is too by propagation the uh, output error from the uh, hidden layer to the input layer, and uh, there it is to distribute the error to all reasons um, passing through each layer to uh, obtain in the error single or another layer. Similarly, the single pattern of the hinger layer is uh, circulated as a pro product, product of the uh, derivative output matrix and the edges. By using machine learning uh, or the network edges are updated 
uh, iteratively and uh, the LMS algorithm is used to find the correct edges of each as the correction edges vector is uh, is the relation arrow single of the um, input layer of the product multiplied by the uh, selection learning rate in order to uh, 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 accelerate the learning process. This paper introduces a, a moment term scholars factor in order to use them in the other part uh, process of network agents. The process space of the network sets are saved separately, so the LMS ultimate and the moment factor are used to adjust the network origins. Experiments Experiments 1 Experimental Environment uh, Papermenter settings. <coughs> In this capture, it uses a TIEC uh, count reference to provide the full uh, preventive AD height information, uh, i.e., tra travel test data sets. 2. Uh, Papermenter training. We can look at this picture. In order to vary the effection of the permanent faster, some data can um, tell us. Experimental results and uh, uh, the analysis on the above picture as follow. For closing results, I will do a representation about the visual imaging method of 3D virtual scene based on VR technology today. The visual imaging technology of virtual scene is an important means to realize the interaction between humans and the computers and the complex data. Its core theory is to realize the real reproduction of virtual scene or virtual environment and the interactive with them. The current visual uh, imaging technology of virtual scene has been widely used in industry manufacturing, medical diagnosis. Uh, science fiction scene that design virtual combat environment simulations, science making inversion, oil and gas exploration, and many other fields. In medical field, foreign scholars integrate the vernacular vision, um, positioning technology and the brain tumors reception. Your serial vision image acquisition sensor is used to track the operation area and reconstruct the 3D Control of the local surface through calculation, which greatly reduces the difficulty of operation. While the um, binocular vision 3D reconstruction technology is used in gastro gastrointestinal appearance inspection to improve the accuracy of the operation matching. Chinese scholars have studied the independent nature picking system. The system used this binocular vision technology imaging processing use, uses processing means method to segment the stem and the fruit, accurately charge the position of picking point, and then get the manipu manipulator to pick the chain. But binocular vision is applied to the terminal guidance of autonomous 
underwater vehicle because the shooting environment is underwater. The nonlinear transformation matrix caused by underwater refraction phenomenon uh, is linearized to um, approximate it, which reduces the range of epipolar variation and uh, achieves high accuracy positioning. Harvey University of Technology applies binocular vision to the soccer robot to realize the full autonomous navigation of the soccer robot. The difference is that the two cameras are installed. Um, one camera is fixed on the top of the robot, and the other camera that can rotate horizontally is uh, installed on the middle or and the lower part of the robot. In this way, the detection range is larger, so that the ranging accuracy and the precise speed of the robot in the field of vision can match. The best way is to adjust the posture in time when encountering obstacles in the process of competition. In the visual imaging technology of visual scene, the model construction and the model rendering of virtual scene are the key links. At present, there are two methods to solve the problem of visual modeling of virtual scene in the world. One is that modeling and the rendering of virtual scene based on geometric model based on uh, computer graphics, which is also called the virtual scene model and the rendering based on computer graphics. The other is to use the image acquisition and the analysis of 3D environment to build the virtual scene, which is based on image. In order to meet the high precision requirements for visual imaging of virtual scene, such as seismic invasion and the oil and gas explanation, um, many effective imaging methods have been proposed. However, the traditional imaging method has low accuracy and serious ima uh, imaging shifts. Therefore, a visual imaging method of 3D virtual scene based on VR technology is designed. In the construction of a 3D model based on VR ML, virtual reality technology is used to describe the roaming virtual environment, which requires a large um, number of solid surface triangles. Due to the limitation of hardware conditions supporting roaming, the real-time interaction will be stuck or even be, uh, even overloaded, resulting in failure. Therefore, the complexity of the scene must be reduced to improve the overall interactive performance. This article uses texture technology to control the complexity of the scene. Texture refers to the surface detail of an object, which is mainly divided into color texture and the job metric texture, for example. The non-3D patterns on indoor uh, furnishings belong to the color texture, the geometric uh, that dimensional uh, the texture. The um, geometric texture includes some 3D forms. The texture mapping is carried out between image space, object space, and the texture space as shown in the following figure. Texture mapping is to map a 2D texture image into a 2D array to a 3D solid surface and change the light intensity distribution of the surface through a modification process. On the indoor wooden floor model, photos or pictures can be used as texture for mapping, which can save the polygonal surface of the wooden straps and the detailed feature de described, uh, description of the wooden floor will not be distorted. The surface area DS uh, corresponding to the pixel on the object surface uh, is mapped to the texture region. The result of partial sub subtraction are shown in the table below. In the above table, the main reduction, uh, the reductions made include removing the spaces caused by shrinkage in the wall, making the supporting parts of the indoor furnishings into uh, prototype nodes, and changing the large amounts of repeated parts into prototype nodes into, in the indoor light. So far, the complexity of the thing has been reduced. The VR environment uh, in VR environment, it is necessary to render the interior uh, interior space decoration scene. In this process, real-time interactive collision processing will occur to enhance the authenticity of the system for interior decoration scene display. Collision processing mainly includes collision detection, collision determination, and collision response. Collision de detection is mainly used to determine whether the moving object will collide with other objects when moving an object in 3D space when it is charged as the relevant information of the collision. The operation is determined according to the specific collision situation between two objects. The system in this paper adapts the octree space division technology. And octree is a very effective management method in 3D management. The space division process of the octree is shown in the following figure. Assuming that the indoor thing is sim uh, simplified to a cuboid box, the cuboid is, uh, is equally divided into a small cuboid with all the same shapes and the, the same polygons are uh, traversed to determine the position or relationship between the polygons and the small cuboid in the thing. And uh, added to the node representing the small cuboid in, in the polygon list, view the number of uh, polygon faces 
in each non-empathist mockoboid. These mockoboids are used as a non-leaf nodes for, uh, of the oak tree and are divided recursively. The point in 3D space is represented by non-homogeneous coordinates, uh, which is not unique. To transform a point in space from one coordinate system to another coordinate system, a homogeneous transformation formula must be applied, which is a zero. Until the division reaches a certain depth, all the number of polygons contained in the sub node uh, space is with a given threshold, uh, threshold range. Uh, if a child node obtained by the division is empty, set it as a leaf node or stop the division. In the process of a subdivision, if a polygon exists in two or more small boxes, the polygon can be divided according to the normal parts in different nodes, cuboids, and the, the small polygon obtained from the segmentation can be added to the polygon list of corresponding nodes, cuboids, to increase the number of polygons in this thing. Aiming at the loose oak tree data structure in the system, the paper completes the in, uh, intersection query through um, the oak tree scene manager, through judges, the intersections of objects in the local space whether the cuboid of the target node is located and excludes most objects that will not collide. Create collision ge geometry and uh, implement the corresponding uh, algorithm. Optimally name all objects that need to collide and uh, manually add judgment to collide conditions in the background code. The traditional 2D virtual uh, viewpoint synthesis method only uses the horizontal disparity map to perform virtual synthesis of the viewpoint image adjacent to the reference image in the horizontal direction. In this 3D virtual viewpoint synthesis method mentioned in this chapter, it is necessary to use both the horizontal and the vertical disparity map to generate, um, to generate the virtual viewpoint image adjacent to the reference image horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. The structure diagram of 3D virtual viewpoint synthesis in this paper is as follows. The figure takes a three point times three multi viewpoint image array to generate a five times five multi viewpoint um, image array as an example. The figure divides the multi viewpoint images into four categories, K, H, V, and M. Among them, the K type images are actually collected. The images of class H and class V are obtained by virtual uh, synthesis of two horizontally and vertically adjacent images of class K, uh, respectively. The M class image is located in the scene of the two times two K class image sub array, and the four K class images are simultaneously perform virtual synthesis to obtain. The virtual synthesis order of this method is calculated by two times two class K image sub array from top to bottom and from left to right. The class K image in the above figure is divided into four sub-arrays. When each sub-array is a virtual synthesis, the order of each virtual viewpoint image is H, V, and M. It can be seen from the above figure that there is an overlap area between adjacent sub-array and this overlap relationship is manifested in the sharing of the disparity map of the overlap area during the virtual synthesis of MTAP image. Due to the huge amount of calculation to generate the disparity map in order to avoid repeated calculations, this chapter will cache the shared disparity map. In order to generate the horizontal and the vertical parallax maps, the method of generating the co corresponding initial virtual view uh, image from the right view is as follows. In the same way, the initial virtual viewpoint image corresponding to the left view can be calculated by using the left view and the left disparity map. The calculation formula is as below. Since the disparity map cannot accurately uh, extract the edges of objects located in different depth planes in the generated initial virtual viewpoint image, there are pixels of other depth planes at the edge of the same depth plane, and uh, these pixels are mostly located among, uh, around the holes in the image. This chapter enlarges the image holes by one pixel to eliminate the influence of this confused pixel on the image quality. The method to merge the two initial uh, virtual viewpoint images gener generated separately into one image is as below. For the small holes uh, still existing in the merged image, the hierarchical interpolation uh, method is used in this chapter. The specific method is as follows. The unfelt pixels are 
classified according to the number of filed pixels around them. The more the number is, the more priority is given in the processing. The average value of all the filed pixels within the range of 7 times 7 is taken as, uh, as the pixel value of the point. In the 3D virtual uh, viewpoint synthetic structure diagram, the visual viewpoint, uh, the virtual viewpoint image in the oblique direction of each sub area is not on the connecting line of any, uh, any two horizontal or vertical adjacent reference image. Uh, therefore, the initial virtual um, viewpoint image in oblique direction cannot be generated only by relying on two parallax maps of the reference image. To solve this problem, the chapter proposed this chapter proposes a method to obtain uh, the initial virtual view image by using the horizontal and the vertical parallax map of the reference image at the same time. The method of the uh, generating the corresponding initial virtual view image from the upper right view is as follows. First, um, the vertical disparity map of the upper right view and the vertical parallax map of the upper right view are used. The specific formula is as below. Then use obtain the intermediate uh, disparity map to match the intermediate view to generate an initial virtual viewpoint image. In the process of merging the generated initial virtual view images, this chapter first merges the initial virtual view images generated by two references uh, images on the same horizontal line, and then merges the generated two images to generate the final virtual view image. The specific formula is as follows. In the formula, IV1 and IV2 are combined the images um, from the two initial virtual viewpoint images located above and below sub areas, respectively. And there is uh, the final synthesis and the virtual viewpoint images. So far, re research on the visualization, IVM, and the imagine. Uh, method of 3D virtual scene based on VR technology is completed. In the experiment, a series of simulation images are generated by using the generated simulation platform and uh, the imaging uh, accuracy of the system is detected. The measurement target of the system is the 3D coordinate value of space points. The measurement of typical entity models such as point, line, plane, surface, cube, etc. The entity to be tested is added with different mark types and the different levels of noise to start their positioning accuracy respectively. The definitions of points, lines, and the polygons in OpenGL are not exactly the same as those in mathematics. On the one hand, the coordinates uh, of geometric figures in OpenGL will cause minor errors due to errors in computer floating points operations. On the other hand, the display of uh, graphics is also subject to the uh, display resolution is limited. Here, we use experiments to study the rendering accuracy of, uh, of geometric primitive in uh, OpenGL. In the experiment, none have none uh, sub images in the sub image area are extracted as experimental data as shown in the figure below. Take the odd number, the row and the odd number, the column images uh, in above area as reference images and they use odd position images as unknown viewpoint images for virtual synthesis. They calculate um, and they calculated the peak signal to noise ratio of the synthesis result and the corresponding actual viewpoint image. The following figure shows the subjective effect of some virtual viewpoint image and the corresponding actual viewpoint images. In the experiment, the hardware environment is a high sense computer with Intel Pentium 3, 96 um, um, MHz, and 768 um, RAM. And uh, the card is Video Quadro 2 MXR slash EX. The software environment is Windows XP Professional, Visual C++ 6.0, and the display resolution is uh, 1024 times 768 uh, times 32 bit. In the process of experiment, we designed some common marks, such as square point, circle point, stripe, and the grid. The following is the specific effect on the mark map, and shown in the following figure. The accuracy of the generated simulation image is tested. On the different resolutions and the imaging functions, the points and the lines in any point position and the direction are verified. At the same time, Gaussian noise and the impulse noise of 60 dB are added to the image to study the influences of noise on targeted point positioning. 
in this paper, the PSNR of the horizontal virtual view image relative, relative to the actual view image is shown in the table below. The PSNR of the virtual viewpoint image in the vertical direction relative to the actual viewpoint image is shown in the table as below. The PSNR of the visual viewpoint image in the diagonal direction relative to the actual viewpoint image is shown in the following table. It can be seen from the above three tables that the horizontal and the vertical virtual view image have higher PSNR than the oblique virtual view uh, images. But the subjective quality of the oblique uh, virtual view image is not significantly worse than that of the horizontal and vertical direction. The main reason for the phenomenon is that the images used in this chapter are real scene images, and the distance between adjacent and shooting viewpoint distance is not exactly equal. Therefore, there is a slight error between the virtual synthetic viewpoint position and the corresponding actual acquisition viewpoint position. This error only affects the TSNR calculation result and will not cause the deterioration uh, of the display effect. And the error has greater influence on the virtual viewpoint image in a in the diagonal direction, the impact on the horizontal and the vertical direction. Under the above experimental conditions, the image scene of the two imaging methods are determined, and the, the results obtained are shown in the following table. In this paper, the actual coordinates of the imaging center points are set as 150 and 150. According to the coordinate result of the imaging center point in the table above, the coordinates of the center point obtained by the 3D virtual scene visualization imaging method based on the uh, VR technology are closer to the actual coordinates, which shows that the method in this paper has higher accuracy in the imaging process and is more in line with the actual situation. With the in-depth development of industrial manufacturing, uh, medical diagnosis, uh, science fiction scene design, virtual uh, combat in environment simulation, seismic inversion, oil and gas exploration, and many other fields. The visualization imaging of virtual scene has become a global hot topic because the current imaging methods cannot be, meet the application requirements of various fields. A virtual scene visualization imaging method based on common focus is proposed. The visual imaging results of the uh, pseudo complex surface interface model verifies the effectiveness and the feasibility of the proposed method and provides effective guidance for the further development of oil and gas exploration, seismic simulation, and other fields. Thank you for all your listening. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I will do a presentation about the research on multi-threaded data scattering control methods for power communication based on building sensor today. With the continuous progress of modern science and the rapid development of the economy, smart distribution networks are getting more and more attention, and the smart distribution networks are the development trend of future power grid. The intelligent distribution network integrates a variety of advanced technologies, such as data communication technology, new energy technology, sensor technology, power system technology, etc. In this way, the self-healing Interactive and the security of intelligent distribution networks can be improved. In order to improve the reliability, real-time performance of power supply systems, the efficiency of power energy utilization, and reduce the impact on the environment, the mutual flow of the information flow and the power flow between power supply and power consumption equipment can be realized. The power grid in the traditional sense refers to the one-way power distribution system, which cannot meet the needs of distributed power in the power grid while the smart distribution network can meet and apply a variety of new energy sources. Therefore, the research of a smart distribution network has become a hot topic in today's society. WSN has become an important development direction in the field of intelligent distribution network data communication. At home and abroad, the research on the operational reliability, accuracy, integrity, and the maximum delay time of WSN data transmission in intelligent distribution network is in the initial stage. The key point is to ensure the reliability and the real-time performance of WSN data transmission meets the requirements of power industry distribution network data communication specification. This guarantees QoS index 
which is the practical application of intelligent distribution network data transmission, WSN is one of the basic research problems. At present, many algorithms and the corresponding improvement measures have been proposed for WSN to achieve high efficiency power communication under the condition of limited network resources. A neural network dynamic node model for detecting links between nodes is started. The model used the nonlinear model and the state of the network topology as the input of the neural network to realize multi-threaded data scattering control and improve the reliability of power communication. In addition, a data-driven dynamic algorithm proposed. According to historical information, a data-driven dynamic algorithm is proposed. According to the historical information, uh, Mobile nodes, the algorithm dynamically predicts the local of the mobile nodes and uses the routine decision making method based on geographic information to realize the control optimization of multi threaded data scattering. In the above methods, different methods are used to study multi threaded data scattering control. But there is nothing to do with a large number of network interference nodes in power communication. This interference nodes occupy too much network bandwidth resources in scattering and uh, compete with many threat characters for network sources, a serious threat to the security of power communication. Relevant scholars have made some progress in this field. Liu Wenjin et al. Um, proposed the, the optimal dispatch method of hydrothermal power system based on super efficient DEA benefit evaluation. The practical swarm optimization algorithm used uh, was used for multi-objective optimization of power system data dispatching. The data development analysis algorithm was used for data dispatching classification of power system, and the decision-making unit and the benefit evaluation method were designed. These methods can effectively improve the system security, but the network bandwidth utilization is not high. Zhang Yuru et al. proposed that the power dispatching optimization and the control method based on smart grid constructed the optimal control model of power dispatching, estimated the state of power dispatching system, and adjusted it into the optimal load. This method can be effectively improved the data regulation time, but the utilization rate of the network bandwidth is poor. Therefore, a multi-threaded data scheduling control based on various sensor of power communication is proposed. According to the pattern of multiple nodes in the communication system, a multi-threaded scheduler is designed to realize the network bandwidth prediction of power communication system. The power communication scheduling control is realized through fluid controller to realize feedback control and the multi-threaded data scheduling control. The effectiveness of this method is verified by experiments, and the security of power communication data is effectively improved. In the power communication using various sensor networks, due to the development of various sensors, there are multiple network nodes with different functions in the network. The net network nodes will generate multiple scheduling tasks at the same time during data scheduling. Showing multi-threaded, the task mode uh, seriously affects the work efficiency and the safety. Therefore, default control, a data scheduler for multi Threading is designed as an aid to the controller. As the scheduler is introduced into the original data scheduling control structure, well, which is used to adjust the sampling period of each controller in real time. So as to ensure the smooth transmission and the timely update of the data information of each loop. Among them, the measure bandwidth value, the bandwidth setting value, and the error of each loop are all working parameters required when the node is scheduled for real-time operation in the sampling period. The basic structure de diagram of the scheduler is shown in figure one, which is below. The workflow of the scheduling design is mainly divided into three parts, network bandwidth prediction, network bandwidth configuration, and sam sampling period calculation. In the first part, network bandwidth prediction is based on the difference between current measure network bandwidth value and the original network bandwidth setting value, and then through proportional control to the predicted next network bandwidth value. Then the predicted net new network bandwidth value is the total bandwidth value. In the second part, the network bandwidth configuration is based on the new network bandwidth value predicted in the previous slide and the data transmission error value of each loop. And at the same time, according to the importance of each control loop established long ago to configure each in real time, the network bandwidth value of the loop. In the last part, the sampling period of each task loop is calculated by the ratio of the data transmission time of the loop network to the network bandwidth allocation value. The calculation of the sampling period needs to be based on the network bandwidth value, and the data sampling period needs to be based on the network bandwidth value, and the data transmission time of each loop. 
So as to realize the real time and the effective adjustment of the multi-path separate interiors, it should be explained here that the network used in the various sampling cycle scheduling design in the, in the campus. The campus is different from other methods. In each message has a priority. That is, it has a priority nature. When multiple nodes access that network at the same time, it can be used to charge the order of nodes visiting the communication network. Moreover, the data translation of sampling campus has many advantages such as strong real-time, high reliability, and strong anti-interference. When the network load increases, the priority control provided by the campus will significantly improve the working efficiency of the network nodes. The prediction of network bandwidth reflects whether the limited capacity provided by communication network is effectively utilized. The concept of the network bandwidth is similar to that of drainage pipeline. The larger the bandwidth is, the greater the cross-section area of drainage pipeline is, and the drainage capacity per unit time is stronger. In the power communication multi-threaded data scheduling control method, the network bandwidth prediction process adopts a proportional control method to predict the new network bandwidth value and to the next moment. Suppose that the precise value of the network bandwidth is R1, and the real-time environment value of the network bandwidth is R2, the difference between the actual value and the precise value of network bandwidth can be obtained as below. Calculate the adjustment and increment of network bandwidth through proportional control strategy as, as below. There is difference between the measured network bandwidth and the predicted network bandwidth. According to all the population above, once the scheduled liability lemma is satisfied, the network bandwidth value can gradually coverage to the desired target ideal value. Under the condition of the satisfying the expected objective ideal value, the control strategy is optimized to realize the multi-threaded data scheduling control of power communication. According to the predicted network uh, bandwidth, the range of control the value variable is set. Communication rate divides the communication rate from 10 kbps to 250 kbps into five levels, respectively. Uh, low, which is from 10 to 20, low from 20 to 40, medium from 40 to 80, high 80 to 160, high 160 to 240. Translation power, the translation power is divided into five levels from low, low to 22 dB, which are low, low, medium, high, and high, from low to high, backhaul strategy. The backhaul strategy is divided into two aspects. The backhaul time from 10 symbols to 30 symbols is divided into five levels, from low to high, uh, low, low, medium, high, and high. The maximum number of the backhaul is divided into five levels from five to 15 times. And from low to high, a uh, low, low, medium, high, and high. After setting the value range of the parameter controlled value variable, design the controller. In the control method, the root controller is uh, used as the nerve center. The basic components of root controller are the basis of its development and the application. Root controller contains many components and libraries. It uses Python programming language to develop applications. Users can develop their own applications by modifying the functions of each component. Among the many components, the app component is used to manage the written application. The base component is used to load the application, which contains an app manager and <coughs> .py file, which is one of the necessary import files when developing an application one. The controller component contains a series of important files that handle switch connections, such as events.py, OFP, underline handle.py, controller.py. These are the key documents. The lib component defines many basic data structures and some commonly used network protocols. The of protocol uh, proto components contain files that support various versions of the open flow protocol. It mainly contains two types of files. One is the data structure definition of the protocol, and the other is the protocol analysis. The above components are the key parts of the development controller. In addition, other components also play different roles. In general, RUI is rich in component types, which is enough to construct a multi-threaded data scheduling controller in various sensor networks. The nature advantage of this controller is the separation of control and the 
forwarding and the centralized control is realized by the control plan. Therefore, it is essential for each controller to have a data flow monitoring function in addition to physical resource, resource information, the network information that can be counted by data flow monitoring also includes information such as the logical links and the, the same is true for flow information. In the actual monitoring process, the main data takes are the switch port reads the information, the number of flows, etc. And the remaining bandwidth of the link and the size of the flow can be calculated based on the statistics of the port information. Using the obtained statistics information enables the controller to be better perform data scheduling. In the precise of the traffic monitoring, we will complete the statistics of the port information and the flow information through two important messages. Of port port state peer request <coughs> and of flow state request. This is the request sent by the controller to obtain the information of the switch. In addition, the controller establish an event handle of the event handling type on the response information of the switch to receive statistics message of the flow or port that the switch responds. In a complete topology, the statistical information of the switch port mainly includes the number of received the package. The number of received the bytes by the number of received errors and so on. Similarly, the statistical information of convention convection also includes various information such as the length and the duration of the flow. After mastering the multi-thread data of power communication and matching with the predicted network bandwidth data, the multi-thread data scattering control of power communication can be realized. In the experiment, the simulation model required for experiment is built, and the content of the construction is consistent with the general framework established by the original variable sampling cycle scattering system. The internal transmission step zone of the sensor and the controller is set up, as shown in figure two. Among them, X is the sampling value of the sensor node, R is the given input value of the controller node, and the deviation value E is the differences between the sensor sampling value and the reference input value. That is, the deviation signal of the system in the controller node. The transmission depth zone one is set in the sensor node, and two is set in the controller node. The sensor node is time-driven, and the controller node and the actor node are event-driven. Event -driven. Uh, when the sensor node does not send the package, the controller node and the actuator node will not be triggered to execute. Two new dead zone scheduling strategies are adopted, and the dead zone is set in the sensor node and the controller node at the same time to realize the two-way cycling of the forward path and the feedback channel in the sensor node. Compare the difference between the previous uh, sample's signal value and the current sample signal with the set dead zone threshold, and uh, determine whether the sensor node <coughs> sends a data package according to the comparison result in the controller node combined with the idea of a human simulated intelligence control. The network is scheduled according to the system deviation value. The human simulated intelligence control can maximize the intuitive reasoning of all parameters and the future information in the control process and implement effective control effect. The same schemes are shown in table one. The implementation parameters of six different schemes are fine tone in different directions. Two points should be noted here. First of all, the increase of die time threshold in sensor node will limit the node packet and the difference between the sample value and the before uh, and before and after the sensor node is maintained at a small value, which is often not very large. Due to the use of unit step signal, the increase of depth time threshold of sensor node will compress the packet space. At the same time, the probability of controller node is reduced. It is also equivalent to restraining the contract to a certain extent. In general, the simulation experiments of the six different schemes are essentially to verify the effectiveness of fine toning parameters under the different restrictions on outsourcing. On the basis of verifying the effectiveness of the control method, the above experimental plan refers to the traditional neural network-based control method and the data-driven control method and conducts adaptive 
experiments under the same experimental conditions to verify that the control method faces theta flow, whether real-time changes can ensure a high level of network bandwidth utilization. Use third-party software to monitor data scheduling control and the output to the experimental results. The specific content is shown in figure three. Compare um, the observed state results in the figure. The solid line in the figure represents the input value, and the dashed, dashed line represents the response curve. Under different scenarios, from the experimental result, it can be seen that the difference between the neural network control method and the input value is relatively large, and the overshoot of the response curve increases obviously, and then decreases gradually. The overshoot of the response curve of the control method based on data-driven increase, obviously, and it is always in the state of increase in the flow up. The response curve of the control method based on wireless sensor is more close to the input value, and the response curve is more close to the input value. The increase of the overshoot is not obvious. In summary, the designed wireless sensing-based Power communication multi-threaded data scheduling control method is more adaptable under different conditions. Based on the above experimental results, the network bandwidth utilization rate of different control methods under the different schemes are calculated, and the calculation results are shown in Table 2. It can be seen from the data in the table that is compared with the traditional two control <coughs> methods. The designed control methods based on the wireless sensing has higher network bandwidth utilization. Combining the above mentioned adaptability experiment results, it can be seen that the designed power based on wireless sensing, the communication multi threaded data scheduling control method has stronger performance and better security. In recent years, the application of wireless sensor network technology to power grid communication has attracted the attention of the industry. This article takes the power communication multi threaded data as the research goal and based on the relevant literature materials design and the design the power communication multi threaded data scheduling control based on various sensing methods. And after the control method design is completed, design a number of comparative experiments. The experimental results verify the effectiveness and the safety of the proposed control method. However, only the stability of the controlled object is considered in the study for dramatic changes, how to adapt to the dramatic change of the environment and how high throughput is worth for the study. That's all my presentation. Thank you for all your listening. Online matching method of news communication innovative teaching mode driven by artificial intelligence. Abstract. In order to improve the quality of training news communication talents, optimize the teaching mode of news communication innovation. Combine with art, artificial intelligence technology. Innovate the content of news communication. Deeply analyze the types of students learning characteristics and match the different students' online learning content and methods according to the teaching content and the training needs of professional talents. So as T.O. improve the teaching effect of news, communication innovation, and provide a mixed teaching mode of online and offline news communication that can be discussed or criticized. Keywords. Artificial intelligence. News communication. Innovative teaching. Online matching. Introduction. Artificial intelligence, also known as intelligent machinery and machine intelligence, refers to the intelligence displayed by machines made by human beings. Generally, artificial intelligence refers to the technology of presenting human intelligence through ordinary computer programs. The research of artificial intelligence is highly technical and professional. 
Each branch of the field is in-depth and different, so it involves a wee derange. With the extensive application of artificial intelligence, the current teaching mode has been greatly changed. In the teaching process of news, communication innovation, it emphasizes the combination of online teaching and offline teaching, so as to realize the complementary advantages and deep dialogue between the two teaching forms, so as to make up for the many shortcomings faced by the single offline teaching. At present, a large number of tools have been applied to artificial intelligence, including search, mathematical optimization, logic deduction and so on. In the news communication innovation teaching mode online is also gradually exploring. For journalism and communication courses, the emphasis on the importance and urgency of mixed teaching is fundamentally determined by the current OVA, raw goal of training journalism and communication personnel. In order to cultivate high quality, all media, compound, expert and outstanding journalism and communication talents and promote the curriculum const, ruction, the teaching reform of journalism and communication courses has continued to explore new teaching concepts and models. While the massive NT, Renet resources and technical support system in the new media era have pushed the construction of online and offline hybrid courses to the forefront of the teaching reform. Based on this, combined with artificial intelligence driven theory, the online matching method of news, communication innovation teaching modus do, died. To news communication innovation, teaching mode online matching content innovation. In the reform of journalism teaching, teachers teaching content should match students' learning foundation and learning potential to meet the needs though. At the news situation, teaching should focus on the students' nearest development area, provide students with appropriate difficult content, mobilize students' enthusiasm a, and de bring into play their potential go beyond their nearest development area and reach the level that can be achieved by overcoming their difficulties. The difficulty of teaching content should not be too simple or too abstruse. The depth of teaching content should meet the requirements of the student's nearest development area and match the nearest development area. The teaching content must have certain experience or the elementary knowledge to take the study cushion. Also must have certain intelligence develop and as the foundation. Match the teaching content with the recent development area. Pay attention to match the interest of knowledge with students' interest. Match the cont and of knowledge with students' learning motivation. Match the value of knowledge with students' needs. Teachers use language, sound, text, symbols, pictures, tables, animation, video and body movements and other information factors to convey knowledge or method information to the student's hearing and vision. Teaching combination surface is the field or interface that teachers and students contact or influence each other in information exchange or teaching function. The information channel of the combination of teaching and learning mainly includes the channel that teachers transfer knowledge or method information and to students. The channel that students transfer feedback information to teachers and the channel that students communicate with each other. In order to realize the information channel matching of teaching combination, the online matching content of news, communication innovation teaching M. Ode is optimized based on this. The specific content is shown in table 1. The greatest advantage of online journalism courses is that students can watch them over and over again and can control the learning process according g to their own learning progress. In teaching activities, teachers and students are the two basic components of the teaching system, which respectively assume the functions of teaching, g and learning. Teaching and learning are not separate. We should attach importance to both teaching and learning. Therefore, in the teaching process, we should make full use of the respective roles of teachers and students. Rationally allocate teaching functions. Assign the functions of support and guidance to teachers. And assign the functions of participation, conversation, reflection and transformation to S. Students. To achieve the best teaching effect, we should pay attention to the matching between the teacher S leading role and the student's leading role. Neith. Or neglecting the teacher S leading role, nor neglecting the student's leading role but must realize teacher's leading role and student's main body role matching. 
Three teaching characteristics of news, communication talents driven by artificial intelligence. Any method of teaching and learning itself cannot be considered as good or bad in isolation. The key lies in whether a certain way is in line with th. A specific education situation, education content, education object and so on, and obtain good education effect. Given sufficient time to study and appropriate teaching, almost all students can achieve mastery of almost all of the learning content. Proper teaching, in fact, is the teaching that matches students' learning. Matching teachers' teaching methods with students' learning methods helps students to understand the knowledge most easily. Must realize teacher as teaching method and student study method match. Teaching matching refers to the mutual adaptation. Cooperation and coordination between the teaching of teachers and the learning of students. It can optimize the teaching of teachers and the learning of students. Teaching matching should be carried out from three aspects: teaching content, teaching mode, and teaching method. That is, the matching of teaching co content and students' nearest development area, the matching of teachers' leading role and students' main role, the matching of teaching method and leer ning method. In addition. Attention should be paid to the matching of information channels and teaching aids with students. Operation level: I based online learning is more like a one-on-one -on -one learning process, unaffected by the environment and the progress of other students, allowing stud and ts to focus their attention more easily. According to the actual situation of the students, the teacher makes a detailed study plan. The students use their spare time to finish the online study according to the study plan. Because the students are self-taught, so online learning management and monitoring is particularly important. Knowledge unit learning has been completed online. Classroom online and offline is mainly to allow students to complete the comprehensive practice. The best difficulty and complexity of setting up practical projects is slightly higher than the comprehensive strength of online teaching courses in journalism and communication. Form a corresponding strategic structure around this key point. And then integrate the other elements into this key point to design a complete set of teaching matching strategies. According to this classification method, four types of teaching matching strategies can be summed up, which are methodological teaching matching (STR), ATEGI, content-based teaching matching strategy, mode teaching matching strategy, and task-based teaching matching strategy, as shown in Table 2. Because of the different definition of learning style, many different learning style models have been formed, and corresponding learning style measury (NG) tools have been designed according to the models in order to measure learners' learning style types more effectively. From the four dimensions of information perception, input, processing, and understanding, learning styles can be divided into four types: perceptual (V), visual, and verbal. Active and meditative. A learning style model is created to provide the basis for learning style analysis in the blended learning and the environment, as shown in Table Three. For optimization of teaching mode, matching of news communication, the teaching matching strategies are methodological teaching matching strategy, content-based teaching matching strategy. Mode teaching matching strategy and task-based teaching matching strategy. Teaching matching strategies for different learning styles based on methodology and content. Method-based teaching matching strategy is designed from the perspective of learning tools, while content-based teaching strategy is designed from th. A perspective of learning resources. At present, in the process of educational informatization. Various means of informatization emerge endlessly and develop faster and faster. Compared with the traditional methods, the design optimization method of news communication, teaching mode matching, will be applied to the informati on technology means of education. A kinds of technical means, such as courseware, video, micro class, simulation software, mind map, news communication online teaching course, MOO, CS. Mobile platform and so on are selected and compared according to the applicability of each stage of the course, as shown in Table Four. Through carding the characteristics of curriculum, different types of curriculum have been formed, 
and the teaching methods of these courses are also different according to the characteristics of information technology means according to the different types of courses to complete the matching and classification of these means China's university financial media laboratory compared with foreign universities although there is still a certain gap but has been groping forward based on this a joint teaching innovation platform of news communication based on artificial intelligence is put forward and a platform of innovati on and practice communication is established the platform is a practical teaching platform integrating production learning and research forming a relatively complete practical education and tea making system and exploring the teaching matching mode of new media planning visual art design plus news communication driven by artificial intelligence in practice in combination with the theoretical logic and knowledge structure of traditional journalism and communication integrate art design visual communicat ian cross media narrative and other practical teaching frameworks and make full use of the cross media practice creation module and audio visual creation module to carry out the matching of news communication innovation teaching the specific structure of the platform is shown in figure 1 fig matching platform structure of news communication teaching based on the platform structure of figure 1 the online teaching of news communication specialty can improve the accuracy of teaching matching and guarantee the teaching quality in the teaching process the ability of media planning for many major projects to create a unique cross media products enrich the content of the project enhance the students cross media planning ability based on the characteristics of active learner and meditative learner the teaching matching strategy designed in this study is divided into two dimensions learning resources and learning tools and different types of students are properly matched as shown in tables 5 to 7 based on the contents of table 5 to table 7 the online matching of teaching mode for students majoring in journalism and communication with different characteristics can be more accurate for teaching according to the learning characteristics of different students and improve the teaching quality conclusions online matching of teaching means that teachers and students can adapt to each other cooperate with each other and coordinate with each other in the process of teaching teaching matching should be carried out from three aspects teaching content teaching mode and teaching method that is the matching of teaching co content and students nearest development area the matching of teachers leading role and students main role the matching of teaching method and lear ning method in addition we should also pay attention to the matching of the information channel of the teaching combination surface and the matching of the teak king assistant equipment with the students operation level a new confidence propagation algorithm for regional image based on deep learning abstract act in order to improve the accuracy of regional image confidence propagation calculation a regional image confidence propagation algorithm bas and on deep learning is designed firstly the relevant information is collected and then the data similarity is calculated secondly The regional image confidence propagation algorithm based on deep learning is calculated. The experimental results show that the regional image confidence propagation algorithm based on deep learning improves the calculation accuracy and R reduces the calculation time. Keywords: deep learning, regional image, confidence, communication, CLC no, TP183 document identification code, A At present, the research on the confidence of regional image is particularly important. Confidence, also known as reliability or confidence level and confidence coefficient, means that when sampling to estimate population parameters, due to the randomness of the sample, 
the conclusion is always uncertain. The span of confidence interval is a positive function of confidence level. That is, the greater the degree of assurance required, a wider confidence interval is bound to be obtained, which correspondingly reduces the accuracy of estimation. Document proposed a deep learning algorithm based on convolution neural network for automatic classification of lung nodules and realize the divisio and an extraction of regional features has applied deep learning algorithm to image segmentation and achieved some results. Pointed out that the traditional method of line fault detection in flotation mainly focuses on extracting specific foam features for segmentation. S. Aka's color and shape. In order to improve the accuracy of region image confidence propagation analysis, a region image confidence propagation algorithm based on deep learning NG is designed. Deep learning is a new branch of machine learning. Its purpose is to simulate the human brain to establish a neural network. It can use multiple information, processing layers to process image, text, sound and other information, such as human brain. By simulating the nervous system of the human brain, we use a hierarchical model to extract more abstract features from data layer by layer. Such multi-layer nonlinear information processing can be applied to image recognition pattern recognition and feature extraction. Low-level features can form high-level features. We turn such hierarchical structure into deep structure, which shows that deep learning is applied to confidence propagation. It is of great significance in multicast algorithm. One regional image information collection before calculating the confidence propagation of regional image, collecting regional image information and mining data. We first use the hybrid struct, U of deep learning algorithm to pre-train the abnormal data, clean and dimensionless the relevant data sources, and get a standardized data matrix A and de-standardized dimension vector. The processing formula is as follows. In formula 1, XE represents the inherent modal function in the state space of the data source. SJ represents the weight vector of the data. DK is the steady state probability of the overall data. V is the multivariable time series of the data, and SG is the clean data source. On this basis, the query function is used for further mining, and the process is the eight steps as following. To regional image similarity calculation. In order to calculate the regional image similarity and analyze the data similarity information, the decision tree model is used to decompose the data similarity. The standardized dimension vector 18 to 20 of standard data is calculated to provide the basis for data analysis in the next step. The calculation formula is as follows. In formula 5, Y, Y, and YM represent the main elements contained in Y and YI is the main element of data. According to the above mentioned standardized data information, the prediction variables and determinants of abnormal data are defined and the princi how component is extracted. The following formula is used to extract the principal component of data. The calculation formula is as follows. In formula 6 P represents the frequently occurring data x y represents the frequently occurring data eigenvalue vector and y represents the time complexity of decomposition after extracting the principal components the regression equation of the data is established and the expression is as follows in formula 7 xbxn is the linear regression coefficient of data a a a and and represent frequently occurring data and shu and t represent the correlation between data variables according to the above definition the establishment of linear regression equation of data is completed on this basis using depth learning algorithm the mixed feature recognition and data classification of data are analyzed according to the classification attributes of network data assume that the attribute set of the data is 
x singular value decomposed into the following formulas According to the above formula, complete the calculation of data similarity. On this basis, deep learning common models are used to classify the relevant data. Automatic encoder is used to learn the representation and coding of a group of data, which is usually used to reduce the dimension. The simple description of automatic encoder is to encode first and then decode. The automatic encoding assumes that the output data are the same as the input data and adjusts the parameters of the encoding automatically in the L earning process to obtain the weight of each layer. Recently, automatic encoder has been widely used in learning data generation model. As shown in the figure 2 is a simple automatic encoder. Among them, there are N cells in the first layer, M cells in the second hidden layer. The input X is the binary vector of N dimension, and the G dimensional hidden layer represents H through the hidden layer. In general, Nonlinear sigmoid functions are used to map in the coding stage. The training process of automatic encoder is as follows. Firstly, the unsupervised learning method is used to learn the features of unlabeled sample data. Because when training labeled data, the parameters can be adjusted according to the error between the output and the real value, which is different f. ROM automatic encoder. Therefore, in the training process of the automatic encoder, the difference between the output data and the input data is adjusted to minimize the error through encoding and decoding two stages. Second, layer by layer training through the encoder to learn features and then to the next layer of training. According to the minimum reconstruction error in the first step, we think that the output is basically consistent with the original input. When the parameters of the first layer are fixed, we also start to train the second layer to get the parameters of the second layer. Third, the automatic encoder is supervised to fine-tune. Through the above two steps of training, we can get the final automatic encoder. At this time, we need to connect a classifier to classify the data. We can connect the SVM classifier, input the results of the second step into SVM, and then use the labeled data for supervised fine-tuning. After the fine-tuning is completed, it can be applied to the real scene for classification. Three implementation of confidence spread calculation of regional image. The message of belief propagation algorithm is transmitted between data points. So it has a lot of computation. Therefore, the idea of segmentation is introduced to transmit messages between the segmented regions. And a region-based belief propagation algorithm is proposed. The first mock exam can reduce the time complexity of the belief propagation algorithm and the constraint of the same model in the segmentation area can eliminate the influence of distorted data points on the result. Can also improve the ability of the belief propagation algorithm to process data. Since the purpose of belief propagation algorithm is to minimize the global energy function and obtain the optimal data distribution, in order to realize the confidence propagation algorithm based on the segmentation region, this paper first defines the region-based global energy function. Therefore, this paper uses the plain template set to replace the search space in order to take the optimal distribution of the plain template instead of the optimal distribution. The global energy function based on region is defined as follows. In order to minimize the global energy function formula and obtain the optimal template distribution, the message and confidence transfer functions are e further modified. The modification process is as follows. At the same time, the smoothing term in the global energy function is calculated based on the data points in the segmented region, and the data items are calculated based on all the data points in the segmented region. So it is necessary to redefine the interregion smoothing cost and the intra-regi on matching cost. In formula 16, P represents the label set corresponding to the template in the parallax plane template set. O represents the adjacent region set of the segmented region. K represents the set of other adjacent segmentation regions. And min represents the label of the plane template assigned by the segmentation area in the template set. 
After T iteration, the transmitted message tends to be stable. At this time, the confidence level under different parallax plane templates of each segmentation region tends to be stable, and the iteration stops. Sample in the most representative sample. Define a confidence measure function. Using the sample confidence value provided by this function, the most representative examples that need to be labeled manually and the examples with the highest correct rate added to the next round of self-training can be obtained. The confidence formula is as follows. In formula 17, N, 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 are two nodes of the output layer, PN and PN indicate positive and negative polarity respectively, that is, node probability. Therefore, the definition of confidence function is intuitive and reasonable. The higher the value, the greater the confidence value of the classifier, that is, the greater the probability that the output is correct classificat. Ion. The simplified diagram of confidence transmission is as follows. In this case, the confidence degree of segmentation region C can be expressed as follows. In formula 18, S divides the region, and after obtaining the best plane template label of each segmentation region, the difference value of data poi and TS in each region is calculated according to the plane template equation corresponding to the template set. The most representative examples are selected from the query function, which combines density measurement and information function. And the anoda shin data is added to the training set to update the classifier performance. At the same time, the confidence measure function selects some of the most credible examples to label automatically and adds them to the next training NG cycle. In the next training cycle, the training data can be enriched by adding high confidence samples and expert manually marked samples. The training process is iterative until the iteration criteria are met. In the testing stage, the original test corpus in the target language is translated into the source language by machine translation. And then the classification results are calculated by trained classifiers. For experimental comparison, in order to verify the effectiveness of the regional image confidence propagation algorithm based on deep learning, the experimental comparison is carried out. And in order to ensure the rigor of the experiment, the research method is compared with the convolution neural network based feature map deep learning in literature three and the support vector machine based fault detection in flotation process in literature five and the accuracy and calculation time of the three methods are compared for point one comparison of computational accuracy data set one and data set two are calculated respectively and the calculation accuracy of this research method is compared with that of literature 3 and D literature 5. Accuracy is an index to measure the accuracy of data transmission within the specified time. The accuracy formula is as follows. It can be seen from the analysis of the above figure that the calculation accuracy of the regional image confidence propagation algorithm based on D. P learning is higher and the data accuracy can be guaranteed at more than 72% in both data sets, which is higher than the methods in literature 3, A, and D literature 5. This is because this method uses the deep learning algorithm to calculate the similarity of regional information and improves the calculation accuracy. For point two time comparison, the results of comparison between the algorithm in this paper and the methods in literature 3 and 5 are shown in the following figure. The calcula shin time is to test the calculation time of three methods for each group of data with 10 groups of data in data set 1 as samples, as shown in figure 8. The algorithm of confidence propagation of regional image based on deep learning in this study consumes less time. It is an ideal state within five minutes and can meet the needs in the actual application process. Compared with the method in literature 3 and 5, it takes more time to calculate. Therefore, the effectiveness of this method is proved. Conclusions A region image confidence propagation algorithm based on deep learning is designed, and the effectiveness of the method is verified by experiments. However, Due to the limitation of research time, there are still some shortcomings in the method of this study. In the follow-up study, 
We need to further optimize the method of this study. Research on network information security risk assessment based on artificial intelligence. Wang Yafei and Wei Na, Pingshan University. Abstract: Fault tree analysis and event tree analysis cannot analyze the dynamic information. Which leads to the long time and precision of network information security risk assessment based on artificial intelligence. Therefore, based on the risk assessment model of artificial intelligence network information security, by obtaining the dynamic index value, establish the evaluation ideal standard, evaluate the dimensionless processing of dynamic index. Realize the processing of dynamic information, and then complete the model reasoning. The information security risk assessment process is designed from the perspectives of risk assessment preparation, asset identification, threat identification, vulnerability identification, confirmation of existing security measures, and risk calculation. Experimental results show that the method has advantages of show short evaluation time and high accuracy, and plays a guiding role in the security protection of mobile network information transmission. First, introduction: Information security assessment is an important part of the information security. Life cycle and provides security risk analysis reports and recommendations for improvement. Security evaluation of information system refers to the scientific and impartial, comprehensive evaluation of the integrity, confidentiality, availability, and other security performance of an information system in accordance with relevant technical standards. Traditional security analysis methods, such as fault tree analysis and even tree analysis, describe the system statically from the point of view of hardware structure and system function. However, the descriptive ability is still insufficient and highly dependent. Dependent on the analyst engineering experience. On this basis, a network information security risk assessment method based on artificial intelligence is proposed. The risk assessment model of artificial intelligence network information security shall be established. The index system shall be established. The positive and negative ideal assessment. Standards shall be established according to the index value, and the, ass the assessment index shall be subject to dimensionless processing to complete the network information security assessment. Experimental results show that the design method has the advantage of short evaluation time, high evaluation accuracy, and certain application value. Second. Construction of risk assessment model for network information security on artificial intelligence. Using the convolution neural network algorithm of artificial intelligence, a network information security risk assessment model is constructed. And the process is shown in the figure.
Third, model reasoning. The information security risk assessment model is extended from the static information security risk assessment model, and the reasoning algorithm is also extended from the static assessment model, as shown in Figure 2. According to the inference algorithm structure of the network information security risk assessment model, the basic inference process of the artificial intelligence method used in the network risk assessment is described as follows. Firstly, the model is initialized with the initial state and the conditional probability of the de designated network. When the new risk indicator variable information is detected, at a certain time, that is the information update of the various levels of the neural network or the information update of the observation node of the network. The inference of the network model is triggered and the posterior probability of the new network risk is obtained through the inference algorithm so as to update the probability distribution of the whole network node state. And the updated posterior probability distribution is used as a basis for reasoning as the next time. And the real-time network risk can be obtained through the continuous input model of the time series observation date, and then the corresponding measures are taken to control the risk in real-time. First of the three part, indicator value acquisition. The following chart is risk assessment indicator system. The second, Establishment of positive and negative criteria for evaluation. The positive ideal standard of the evaluation index is as follows. The negative ideal standard of the evaluation index is as follows. Dimensionless processing of assessment indicators. If the R indicator is a benefit indicator, the greater the indicator value, the more beneficial the assessment is as follows. Fourth, now processing. In order to more accurate estimate now Values in the new evaluation sequence are now proceeding follow it is done as follows. Step 1. Feature selection and the date transformation. In this feature selection, attribute reduction algorithm based on rough set is used to reduce the original date table and get the key attribute set after reduction. Step 2. Artificial Intelligence Clustering Clustering is performed used a set of non-empty attributes related to attributes with no values obtained in step 1. Step 3. Calculate Impact After clustering Turning the date into several clusters, the influence of different independent variables on dependent variables is different for each cluster. The fourth estimates now. First, the distance between the tuple and each cluster center is calculated. Then the tuple in which the null value belongs to the cluster closest to class and the estimated value is obtained by using the null value est estimation. 
algorithm. The fourth, information security risk assessment process design. Information security risk assessment generally includes the following six process. Risk assessment preparation, aside identification, value identification, vulnerability identification, confirmation of existing security measures, risk calculation. The information security risk assessment flowchart is shown in figure below. Risk assessment reserve adequate preparation and planning prior to the information security risk assessment can ensure the controllability of the assessment process and the objectivity of the assessment results. The preparatory work for the risk assessment of information security shall include the following content, specifying the objectives of the risk assessment, establish a special assessment team, determine the risk assessment method and schemes, and obtaining the support of the senior managers for the risk assessment work. Aside identification. Before the identification of sites, classifying the assets of the information system is conductive to the next step of risk assessment. Other sites are identified, the assets may be assigned by using the importance level, and the assets may be divided into different levels according to the assignment result, so as to determine the scope of important assets and carry out further risk assessment around important assets. Threat identification. When the information assets are weak or the security measures are not in place, the vulnerability will increase the risk of information security. Direct or indirect threats to important information assets may be identified through sample analysis, log analysis, personnel interviews, and other methods of IDS, intrusion detection system. Vulnerability identification. Vulnerability is a general term for the weakness of one or more assets. If it is not explored, it is an explore. Vulnerability will not in itself cause damage to information assets. Because of the covered nature of vulnerability, the vulnerability of some assets can only be revealed under certain circumstances. Confirmation of existing security measures. Safety measures can be divided into preventive measures and protective measures. It is necessary to confirm the effectiveness of the existing security measures, that is, whether the existing security measures reduce the severity of vulnerability and really resist the stress and play the role of protecting information assets. Risk calculation. Scientific algorithms and tools will be adopted to calculate the possibility of security incidents after identifying a size, value and vulnerability and confirming the existence of security measures that is, the information security risk value will be used to determine the information security risk level and handle the risk result according to the risk value. So as to realize the control and the treatment of risks and facilitate the, the formulation of scientific and effective risk treatment plans for the losses caused to the organization.
security simulation experiment is designed. With the help of packed tracer software, the paper validates and analyzes the research on network information security risk assessment based on artificial intelligence. By constructing network security simulation topology and configuring network parameters, this paper compares the time and accuracy of network security risk assessment with other methods. Simulation experiment environment sighting. In the packet tracer software, through the configuration of terminal security access to achieve computer network security, secure Exile network is realized by binding switch port to terminal address. Secure root is realized by OSPF plaintext authentication. Pack filtering is realized by configuring standard access list on root. Simulation experiment network topology in figure. Experimental results and analysis. Based on the above content, the fault tree analysis method, even tree analysis method and the evaluation time based on artificial intelligence are anal analyzed as follows. Concluding remarks. Artificial intelligence technology is widely used and plays an important role in the risk assessment of information security. The effective application of artificial intelligence technology can reduce the incidence of risk, which is indispensable in the daily work with the continuous progress and development of science and technology. Artificial intelligence technology will be seen in the information security risk assessment will have a superior impact. Thank you. Design of the once security early warning system for network date based on artificial intelligence. Wang Yafei Ke Wei Na, Pinishan University. Extract. At present, the design of network date at once security early warning system warning accuracy rate is low, leading to long warning time for stability. Based on artificial intelligence, a new advanced security warning system for network data is designed. The hardware of the system is composed of power module, acquisition module, driver module, alarm module, and display module. The software program is designed according to the hardware structure of the system. The software program includes integrated Control mind program, temperature collection program, temperature display program, and sound and light alarm program. Experimental results show that the network date at once security early warning system based on artificial intelligence can effectively improve the system early warning accuracy, shorten the warning time, and improve stability. Introduction. As a carrier of information network data, automatic identification system has the ability to process information and extract key attributes of information, which facilitates people's life and ensures the authenticity of information. There are a large number of common signals with 
nonlinear and non-stationary characteristics in the date signal and information contained in in the internal time domain and frequency domain must be analyzed by the safety early warning system. In order to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the early warning system, this paper designs a new network date advanced security early warning system based on artificial intelligence. First, hardware design of advanced security early warning system for network date based on artificial intelligence. The hardware of network date advanced security warning system based on artificial intelligence is composed of power module, collection module, drive module, alarm module, and display module. The structure of AI-based advanced security warning hardware for network date is shown in figure 1. Analysis of Figure 1 shows that the power module consists of an external AC power supply and an internal battery, both of which work simultaneously to ensure that the system can have continuous power. The step motor drive is controlled by the AT89C52 controller and the date acquisition is carried out by the TLC1543 chip. Design of SCM module. In this paper, the single chain microcomputer AT89C52 is selected. The single chain microcomputer is the main control chip of the system which can realize AD conversion, data reading, data processing, and data output. Compared with the traditional SCM, AT89C52 SCM consumes less power, has high performance, can realize ISP online programming, and can fully compatible with 51 or sub-series. After the 8-channel analog of AD conversion is input in ADC080 non-chip, the chip will work at the same time with the CPU. Choose the appropriate method to interrupt. Power module design. The control chip AT89 C52 is used to control the operation of the whole system and the crystal circuit and the clock circuit are introduced into the power module. The AT89C52 is a TMOS chip with strong control capability and the pins are also equipped with XTAL1 and XTAL2. The reset circuit is programmable X250 45 chip, which has the ability to monitor the working state of power supply. Drive module design. The motor is also controlled by AT89C52. Three interface signals, power signal, offline signal, and direction signal are added to the driver. These three signals are responsible for different tasks, and the power signal is responsible for controlling the walking speed of the stepper motor, and the direction signal is responsible for controlling the step. Observing figure 3, we can see that the drive module also introduces a double pole double through relay. 5. Sound and light alarm module design. 
different from the traditional module. The alarm module selected in this article is the sound and light alarm module. Use light emitting the audits and speakers to alarm at the same time. The indicator status lights of the diodes have two colors of red and green. When the submersible pump is in normal working condition, the green light of system is on. The green light of system, when the fault occurs, the green light of the system is off and the red light is on. At the same time, the corresponding speaker will also emit an alarm sound. The system is equipped with a display. Six, signal receiver design. The design, the signal receiver's recognition and Analysis speed for sound in the recognizable range is 200 MHz. It can recognize and analyze the signals output by different wave propagation and different frequencies of broadcasting and broadcasting, and can process the received six signals in parallel each time. Broadcast audio on non-stop channels. The special advantage of this type of signal receiver is that after identifying the outside broadcast, it will safely identify the broadcast date and audio to restore the safety and health of the date. Seven, VS78 module host. The VS78 Module host is a core part of the hardware area of the automatic broadcast recognition. System based on artificial intelligence, the VS7H module host is an inclusive cabinet well, where the hardware area is placed. The motherboard recommended other hardware devices. The main work is to record the storage of signal receiver of the hardware part. The type of the VS7-8 host is the virtual host. The advantage of the virtual host is to reduce the memory of the system, increasing the sensitivity to the broadcast audio signal transmitted by the wireless network. Eight. HI-89 module chip. This article uses HI-89 type chips for the work requirements of the artificial intelligence-based network data advanced security early warning system. In addition, the core program of the HI-79 chip is a GR-7604 program, which has four TNC connectors with a memory of 50 omega and has a large memory storage spaces, which provides a basis for broadcast audio recognition. This chip has ultra high radio frequency processing function. Second, Software design of the advanced security early warning system for network data based on artificial intelligence. The software program is designed according to the hardware structure of the system. On analyzing the figure, we can see that the artificial intelligence network data of the advanced warning system starting in this article converts the temperature through the lookup table method. Figure 6, flow chart of software early warning. The content detected by the integrated control system includes motor window temperature, bearing temperature, and the motor humidity. Experimental research. Third, in order to further 
further verify the early warning capabilities of the artificial intelligence based network data advanced security early warning system. A comparative experiment was designed to compare with the traditional early warning system. First, experimental parameters. The selected row data parameters are shown in Table 2. Second, experimental processes. Experiments are performed according to the above set parameters, and the traditional integrity control system and the artificial intelligence based network data, the one security early warning system based on this article, are selected for integrated control and thus the superiority of the control system studied in this article is verified by experimental results. Experimental results and anal analysis. Figure 7. Comparison of accuracy of monitoring results. Observing figure 7, we can see that as the monitoring time increases, the accuracy of the monitoring results of system in this paper and the accuracy of the monitoring results of the traditional system are increasing. But the accuracy of the early one system study in this paper is always higher than that of the traditional early warning system. Stability comparison of early warning processes. On the whole, the early warning process of the system studied in this article and the traditional early warning control are relatively stable. But when the early warning reaches, the traditional early warning system has a fault in the early warning. 3. Comparison of warning time Analyzing figure 10, it can be seen that when the number of early warning is 10 times, the early warning time spent by the traditional system is 0.11 second, and the warning time spent by the system in this paper is 0.08 second. When the number of early warning control time is 20, the warning time spent by the traditional system is 0.8 Seven, a full seven seconds. The early warning time spent by the system in this paper is zero dot one four second. In summary, the overall performance of the early warning system studied in this paper is better than the traditional system. The system started in this paper is designed with a special signal acquisition circuit and signal connect conditional conditioning circuit AT89C52 is very convenient to the maintain and it can monitor analog and switch values in a targeted manner and control of the working status of substance submersible pumps more safely and reliably. Conclusion The early warning system study in this paper also introduces for the diagnosis technology micromotor technology, sensor technology, and intelligent measurement technology, which can not only monitor the operation status of submissible pumps online, but also detect the operation failure of network date in time. Compared with traditional for the early warning system, the system started in this article had stronger detection capabilities, better monitoring effects, and better realization of safety monitor. On the whole, the intelligent strength of the system has been strengthened. AT89C52 is low in cost, stable, stable in performance, and easy to maintain. Very convenient. Rich warning functions greatly reduce it.
the burden of manual work, making the system operation safer and more reliable. Thank you. Feature extraction of network temporal and spatial distribution based on data stream clustering. Introduction Clustering based feature extraction of spatial temporal distribution of networks. Simulation test analysis. Conclusion With the rapid development of computer network technology, the network has covered all aspects of social life. The contemporary computer network architecture is built on the basis of the TCPA protocol. Due to the openness of the TCPA protocol, the spread of computer viruses has increasingly become a problem for people, and network security issues are imminent. Information transmission and information interaction in cyberspace use network traffic as the carrier, and traffic data contains a lot of valuable information. Judging the network status by analyzing the network traffic is of great significance to effectively preventing network attacks and maintaining the security of cyberspace. As an important technical support for network situation awareness, abnormal detection of network traffic has received more and more attention in recent years. Abnormal network traffic refers to the network traffic pattern that has a negative impact on the normal use of the network. The abnormal traffic is mainly composed of two reasons, one is performance reasons, and the other is security reasons. So far, for the anomalies caused by security reasons, the methods of network traffic anomaly detection can be divided into the following four categories, based on statistics based on clustering, based on information theory, and based on classification. Among them, the basic idea of network traffic classification based on statistics is that the characteristics of traffic generated by different types of applications are different. General traffic characteristics can be divided into two categories, one is network flow characteristics, the other is data packet characteristics, and there are also combinations of the two, that is, the characteristic data that needs to be used are extracted from the original traffic data. For example, Cisco's NetFlow, Juniper's GFlow, Waikato University's MAGI, CERT's Network Situation Awareness Research Group, EF, etc. The behavior-based method uses traffic characteristics to be the behavioral information of host communication, and the basic ideas are different. The application produces different behavior patterns. However, his method only extracts the single temporal or spatial characteristics of the network flow and lacks a comprehensive representation of the temporal and spatial characteristics of the network flow. The original network traffic is composed of a string of bytes in a format specified by the network protocol. Multiple traffic bytes form a data packet, and multiple data packets of the two communicating parties form a network flow. Among them, the data packets are transmitted on the network at the same time as a whole, so the internal traffic bytes do not have too many timing relationships, but the bytes are considered to have a spatial relationship, and the corresponding spatial characteristics can be extracted. However, each data packet in the network stream has a different sending time, which is considered to have a timing relationship, and its corresponding timing characteristics can be extracted. Therefore, spatial characteristics and temporal characteristics are two types of traffic characteristics commonly used in the field of network traffic monitoring. Based on the above background, the research has been based on the network spatio-temporal distribution feature extraction method based on data stream clustering. The biggest advantage of this method is that there is no need for data annotation, because annotation data is difficult to obtain in practice. Finally, the test proves the effectiveness of the research method.
More than 80% of the data in the real world is related to geographic location. Traditional GIS only describes the spatial state characteristics of the research object at a moment, without special processing of temporal characteristics. In reality, spatial data or geospatial data changes with time. Therefore, traditional GIS can only reflect the current or historical state of things at certain moments in history, and cannot connect these states, let alone predict future development trends. Since the existence of objective things is closely related to time, the concept of spatiotemporal data was born. Different from general data, the definition of spatiotemporal data in this article is a data set that includes temporal characteristics, time dimension, and spatial location characteristics, spatial dimension. At the same time, this type of data also has the comprehensive characteristics of multi-source, massive, and rapid update. Temporal characteristics mean that the state of the data changes with time, and presents a certain law in the time distribution. Spatial location characteristics are usually a unified measurement of location through two-dimensional plane coordinates or three-dimensional coordinates, which is measurable, its distribution also has a certain regularity. In addition, general spatiotemporal data also has scale, resolution, features, multiple heterogeneous features, and multidimensional dynamic visualization features. Among them, the scale feature is reflected in the scale change, zooming, the spatial pattern and description details of different sampling granularities are different. The multi-source heterogeneous feature is reflected in the diversity of data sources and the multi-source heterogeneity of geospatial information, spatial reference different, different time, different scale, inconsistent semantics. The multi-dimensional dynamic visualization feature refers to the time varying intelligence data can be fused with three-dimensional geospatial information and achieve dynamic visualization. Clustering algorithm, the technology of cluster analysis is developing rapidly, and certain results have been achieved in some application fields, such as data mining, psychology and medicine, statistics and pattern analysis, marketing, biology, information retrieval, astronomy, archaeology, geological prospecting and land use, etc. Clustering mining is an important research direction in the field of data mining. Up to now, there is still no clear academic definition. It can only be simply described as that cluster analysis is based on analyzing and describing objects from a data set and the relationship between them, finding similar objects, and combining these data to form different groups. The similarity within the same data group must be greater than the similarity between the data groups. The important criterion for judging the quality of clustering is that the greater the homogeneity between groups, the greater the homogeneity between groups. Smaller, that is, the larger the gap between groups, the better the quality of clustering. 4. Each object data group can be described by groups or clusters. The main content of cluster analysis research includes the following five steps, pattern representation, including feature extraction or selection, to choose a good representation, it can produce simple and easy to understand clusters. The feature selection process is to effectively extract feature subsets, which can improve the quality of clustering. In the field of data mining, it is necessary to seek a cluster analysis method with high quality and high algorithm efficiency. Therefore, in the application of data mining, the application of cluster analysis algorithm also puts forward some typical requirements for its algorithm, as follows. is sensitive to the project and is prone to problems such as low quality of algorithm output results. This requires an effective clustering algorithm, which can solve this problem well. According to different clustering strategies and different clustering scales, clustering methods can be divided into the following four types. 
baseline-based, hierarchical-based, density-based, and grid-based. The characteristics and common algorithms are shown in Table 1. Algorithms are suitable for different application scenarios. Some are simple and efficient, and are suitable for noisy data sets. Some can find clusters of arbitrary shapes. In general, each type of algorithm has different performances corresponding to different data, mainly from the aspects of scalability, the ability to handle different types of attributes, the discovery of clusters of arbitrary shapes, the ability to handle noise, and the interpretability and usability. It is reasonably selected to enable effective clustering of the data. DBSCAN, based spatiotemporal feature extraction, the DBSCAN algorithm in the clustering algorithm is used to extract the characteristics of the temporal and spatial distribution of network data, and the extraction process is shown in Figure 2. 1. Data pre-processing, the input data is transformed into the range of 0, 1, through linear transformation, thereby turning the dimensional expression into a dimensionless expression, which is convenient for the comparison and weighting of indicators of different units or magnitudes. The calculation method is as follows. 1. Min-max standardization, min-max standardization, also called minimum-maximum standardization, the basic principle is to linearly transform the original data so that the transformed result falls within the interval, 0, 1. The min-max standardized expression is as follows. Then, if the normalized data is the original data, is the maximum value of the sample data, is the minimum value of the sample data, 2. Z-score standardization, Z-score standardization, also known as standard deviation normalization, is based on the basic principle of making the processed raw data conform to the standard normal distribution, that is, the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. The standardized mathematical expression of Z-score is as follows, in the formula, is the mean value of the corresponding characteristic, is the standard deviation, 2. Execute DBSCAN algorithm. Simulation test analysis. This chapter first builds a test environment for the network spatiotemporal distribution feature extraction method based on data stream clustering proposed in this paper, and then conducts a number of tests on the method and gives comparative analysis results of system performance in various situations. Network data acquisition, construct a node distribution model for network traffic collection in a cloud-based data center to collect network data. The collected network traffic data is a data record of each broadband probe every minute. The record contains the overall data situation within the measuring range of the probe and is collected every minute. Except for the start time and the stop time of each collection, the record also contains the remaining 49 network characteristics, as shown in Table 3. Among them, such as the number of TCP sessions, the average number of packets per TCP session, the number of UCP sessions, the average number of packets per UDP session, and the length of each packet or the characteristic dimensions that we usually focus on when analyzing network traffic anomalies. The original data collected by the exploration is arranged in time series, and the collected data is filtered out, which basically covers the data feature dimensions required for network traffic analysis, and the corresponding dimensions are expressed in specific data types and units, making data changes are more intuitive, and processing is more efficient. Testing tools. Avalanche is an advanced testing tool for 4-7 to seven layer simulation and performance testing in the industry. The Avalanche test solution is used in the test laboratory to realize the authenticity of the network, users and users. The biggest feature of Avalanche is that it can simulate a variety of abnormal conditions, a variety of real user activities, and more than 1 million network connections with different IP addresses, thus while imitating the real network environment. Comparison of clustering extraction precision, contrast and analyze by contour coefficient and extraction accuracy. 
The former calculation result range is minus 1, 1. The closer the result is to 1, the better. It can be seen from table 4 that compared with the traditional method, under the application of this method, the contour coefficient is larger, closer to 1, and the extraction accuracy is higher, which proves that this method is more effective. Comparison of clustering speed. On the basis of the above experiments, we test the speed of extracting the spatiotemporal distribution characteristics of the data flow network of 10 groups of the proposed method and the traditional method respectively to further verify the superiority of the proposed method. The test results are shown in Figure 3. As can be seen from Figure 3, his method can achieve high precision extraction on the basis of short clustering speed, with a maximum of 0.09 big ms, which is more advantages than traditional methods. Conclusion Almost all phenomena in the real world contain three basic characteristics, space, time and attributes. Driven by machine learning, big data analysis, the Internet of Things, and smart cities, spatiotemporal data sources and analysis methods are constantly enriched. At present, spatiotemporal data analysis and mining technologies have important application value in different fields. How to combine spatiotemporal data with other data sources and obtain decisive characteristics through observation and analysis of time and space attributes has important practical significance. For this reason, this paper studies a research on the feature extraction of network temporal and spatial distribution based on data stream clustering. Through this research, the effectiveness of the method is proved. image filtering algorithm based on convolutional neural network. In order to solve the problem of long processing time and poor processing effect of traditional methods, a multispectral image filtering algorithm based on convolutional neural network is proposed. Based on convolution neural network, the spectrum image features are defined and the image SNR is registered. Based on Fourier transform, the improved algorithm of multispectrum superposition is used to realize the mean filtering of multispectrum image. The experimental results show that this method has higher stability and effectiveness in the actual operation process, and the image filtering time is shorter. The experiment the effectiveness of the algorithm. Present, there are many research results about filtering image noise at home and abroad. The performance of the proposed filters is better than that of the traditional filters, but they all filter all the input samples without selection or distinction. Filtering each pixel without selection or distinction will inevitably lose some original information of the image. In the process of traditional FFT, Fast Fourier Transform, the coordinate transformation is easy to produce large interpolation error, which reduces the registration accuracy. And it needs several iterations, so the computational efficiency is low. It is obvious that the traditional method is difficult to have both registration ratio and computational efficiency. This paper first introduces the basic concepts of capacity measurement, multispectral singularity index and multifractal spectrum and multifractal analysis, and then gives the estimation method of multifractal spectrum based on kernel estimation method and finally proposes a method based on multifractal spectrum analysis image filtering algorithm, and the experimental results of the algorithm are given. 
convolutional neural network is a three-layer feed-forward neural network with a hidden layer with three input nodes and one output node. Convolutional neural network is also called radial neural network. Its initial weight has nothing to do with subsequent operations and is only determined by the structural characteristics of the network. The three input nodes of the default convolutional neural network are IA, EAP, IC and one output node is E. The structure details are shown in Figure 1. The core of the convolutional neural network learning method is the determination of the output weight by the network center. For the image filtering fusion simulation model, the sample set is relatively limited and the input and output nodes are few. The clustering self-organizing dynamic learning method is most suitable. The clustering self-organizing dynamic learning method has a small amount of calculation and short time to find the network center. The clustering self-organizing dynamic learning method can obtain the output weight in the shortest time, and the solution process is easier. Convolutional neural network is a theory based on the principle of mean filtering and the parallel processing method of image structural elements. It can achieve feature extraction by transforming the morphology of the target image. In, in the aspect of multi-spectrum implementation, based on the analysis of data dependence and resource affordability, an efficient implementation architecture is built, which reduces the total processing time of frequency domain filtering algorithm. Based on this, the multispectral image processing method based on convolution neural network is defined. Therefore, the multispectral index can well describe the local characteristics of the function f, x. Based on the above definition, the definition of multispectral image filtering algorithm can better ensure the accuracy of the algorithm. I image signal to noise ratio, SNR, is the ratio of power spectrum of image signal to noise, which can be approximately equal to the peak signal to noise ratio, PSNR, of TINA, LG. 2552-MSE. However, in the image registration based on frequency domain method, whether the two kinds of images can be accurately registered depends on whether the maximum position of the inverse Fourier transform image of the cross power spectrum is accurate. Based on this, the registration SNR is defined. Under normal conditions, the maximum value of registration signal-to-noise ratio corresponds to the correct registration parameters. However, when the noise is stronger than the signal, the mismatch will occur. Therefore, it is particularly important to distinguish the types of noise and remove or weaken them. 9. The larger the SNR, the higher the SNR. The SNR is inversely proportional to the noise power. Therefore, the spectrum noise caused by the image scaling, rotation and interpolation in the registration process can be minimized to improve the image registration accuracy. Based on this, the image clustering fusion standard is analyzed, as shown in Table 1. Using the histogram estimation method to estimate a strictly stationary process can usually obtain satisfactory estimation results, but for non-stationary processes and composite processes, especially when the multispectral image is not a concave function, the histogram method the estimated result will cause the loss of some detailed information. Taking into account the limit relationship of image features, if P, X, Y, 
is the gray value of the local blurred pixel of the image. Combine the principle of median filtering to segment the image contour of the blurred area and record it for the gray values in characteristic corner points in the grid image. The standard gray values of the horizontal and vertical coordinates of the three-dimensional point image of the local area are set as. According to the principle of edge constraint, the local filtering frequency of image blurred area is calculated. Furthermore, wavelet analysis and feature detection are performed on the global gray value of the image. According to the detection results, local feature fusion processing is performed to improve the recognition and repair effect of the image features of the blurred area. The specific identification steps are shown in Figure 2. Usually, the partial blurring of the image is mostly caused by noise. Therefore, in order to better realize the effective processing of the partial blur area of the image, the interference noise collected in the process of fuzzy image feature recognition is reduced. In order to ensure that the noising effect denoise the gray value of the superimposed light source, by collecting and filtering the value of the strong light point in the image, the characteristic value M of the wave frequency of the sharp change in the gray value and the amplitude T of the speckle superposition are obtained. This specific algorithm for Where R is the light spot wave oscillator, W is the phase angle of the light spot area. If the detection area element value is G, E is the independent statistical quantity of image denoising information. Based on the above algorithm, the requirements of noise reduction for local fuzzy features of multidimensional color image can be realized, and the noise reduction effect can be improved to the greatest extent. In order to better optimize and improve the automatic filtering algorithm of image local fuzzy features, the size of selected structural elements should be kept moderate. If the size is too large, the image details will be lost. The selected structural elements can cover the noise and retain the image details. When the size of the structure elements is selected, the image can be filtered. Mean filtering is to replace the gray value of the original image F, A, B, with the average value of each point in the image to remove the suddenly changed points. K is IA, J rectangle template, 1 per hour is template coefficient, and G, C, D, is gray value of pixel after filtering, each pixel in the mixed image is the weighted average value of each pixel value in the neighbor, which is easy to cause the image edge to be lost. Therefore, the most suitable structural element is not and rectangle, and the gradient image is used as a guide to ensure that the structural element is filtered from the center of the image. The intensity gradient will change with the size of the structural element, and finally the optimal structural element changes are obtained. Kind of form. The grid interpolation error is calculated, and the superposition of double and triple spectrum is calculated respectively to determine the optimal parameter value, which represents the minimum grid spacing. When multi-frequency spectrum superposition is used, the outermost spectrum is selected as, that is, the original spectrum. Using multi-grid can significantly improve the interpolation accuracy with log polar grid. Therefore, based on Fourier transform and using multi-spectrum superposition, an improved algorithm can be obtained. 
for a given target image and structure element. The corrosion process of convolutional neural network can be described. The structure element is moved freely on the image, so that all pixels constitute the set of structure elements and image maximum correlation points. This set is the corrosion of two, which can be recorded as follows. The principle of opening and closing operation is as follows. The difference between the pixel value after open and close operation and the original pixel is as follows. The noise pollution detection for the pixels of the mixed image is shown in the formula. Then the neighborhood priority BPRI of each block is defined as. In order to make the frequency spectrum of the higher quality block more fully diffused to the lower quality block, the outer block is taken as 64A, 64. The enhancement block is taken as the inner block, and the corresponding outer block is selected, and the block spectrum matched filter is filtered and enhanced in the frequency domain. With the support of the convolutional neural network, the number of series filtering is reduced, and the multi-filter fusion of the image is completed under the impact of a few high-voltage filtering. Image multi-filter fusion form, combined with the convolutional neural network, retains the advantages of the original form, and suppresses the noise while solving the phenomenon of edge information loss. The improved image multi-filter fusion form is shown in Figure 3. This process can ensure that the evaluation results are completely accurate and the reliability of high-quality blocks and the evaluation results. In this way, the calculation of multi-spectral image filtering characteristics can ensure the accuracy and effectiveness of the image filtering algorithm in the use process. In order to verify the operation effect of the multispectral image filtering algorithm based on the convolutional neural network, an experiment was performed compared with the traditional algorithm. In order to ensure that the experimental results are true and effective, the experimental environment and experimental parameters are uniformly set. For the convenience of recording, the algorithm in this paper is recorded as B during the experiment, and the traditional algorithm is recorded as A first judge the noise filtering effect during the operation of the two algorithms, and the result is shown in Figure 4. In the experimental detection process, the higher the signal-to-noise ratio removal rate, the higher the automatic filtering effect of the algorithm, that is, the better the running effect. According to the detection curve of Figure 4, it can be seen that the detection curve of algorithm B is much higher than that of algorithm A, and as the detection time increases, the overall detection results of algorithm A gradually show a downward trend, while the overall detection curve of algorithm A still tends to rise steadily. This paper proposes a multispectral image filtering algorithm based on convolutional neural network. The experimental results show that the edge of the image detected by this algorithm has certain advantages, eliminating the need for binary processing in some algorithms, and effectively improving improve the image processing efficiency and accuracy. This is because the algorithm defines the spectrum image features through convolution neural network and registers the signal-to-noise ratio of the image, which provides the basis for the mean filtering processing of multispectral images and improves the image processing effect. Thank you for listening.
Remote Consultation Information Mobile for Intelligent Display System and Augmented Reality and Human Computer Interaction. Keywords GPRS Technology Augmented Reality Display Drive Human-Computer Interaction, Consultation Information, Mobile Phone Display, Abstract. The current mobile phone intelligent display system lacks the matching operation of display mode before the display driving operation which leads to the large average variance of display results. Therefore, this research designs a new intelligent display system of remote consultation information based on augmented reality and the human computer interaction technology. The research and the design is mainly for software design. Firstly, two dimensional display matching algorithm is applied to complete the matching operation of display mode. At the same time, Linux is used as a system framework to be compatible with different modules in the system. Augmented reality and UI human computer Interaction module are established to increase the system functions. GPRS technology is used as a career remote transmission. Finally, a new display driven algorithm is this design in order to verify the feasibility of intelligent display system on mobile phone. A comparative experiment was designed to display the remote consultation information. and the power consumption and the mean square deviation of different system were analyzed. The experimental results show that the power cons consumption and the mean square deviation of the system are low, which fully proves the feasibility of the system. Introduction The rapid development of electronic technology, computer technology and combination technology has brought convenience of to people's life and uh, created new opportunities for the development of medical system. The personal, the proposal of telemedicine improves the efficiency of medical resources and mobile phone can be used as one of the parts of telemedicine.
at the same time, it has a wide range of applications and has a high prospect. The mobile phone display terminal has higher requirements for image clarity. However, the image quality of the current mobile phone display system is difficult to meet the requirements. And there is still major limitations. In the earlier display system, the simple chip microcomputer was usually used as the control chip of the display system at home and abroad. And the ARM embedded microprocessor was used as a control chip of the display system in the later period. Application of microprocessing technology has significantly improved the display quality of the display system and can also realize more complex display driving operations. Therefore, the researchers used the CPLD algorithm for display drive calculations. However, as far as current research is concerned, researchers lack relevant considerations of display mode matching, which affects the results of driving calculations and there is still room for improvement in image quality. And the above background, this research designs a new remote consultation information Mobile Intelligent Display System with the support of augmented reality and human-computer interaction technology and verifies the application advantages of low-power consumption and the average variance through simulation experiments. which can enhance the effect of remote consultation, information, mobile, intelligent display. System Designer As this system is an intelligent display system applied to mobile phone, the software design is focused on the first display pattern matching algorithm, Linux system framework, augmented reality driven development, the fifth, the fourth, remote consultation information transmission, the fifth, UI human computer interaction establishment. The sixth high quality display drive algorithm. Analysis of experimental dem demonstration in order to verify the feasibility of the mobile phone intelligent display system designed in this paper. 
Remote consultation application is added to the mobile phone used in this paper. And then the patient information in a hospital is displayed by this system. The traditional consultation information mobile phone intelligent display system based on virtual reality. And the consultation information mobile phone intelligent display system based on Zigbee results. The advantages and disadvantages of different systems were judged. Experimental mobile terminal. The mobile phone equipped with intelligent display system of mobile phone is selected as our play for team. The main screen size of the mobile phone is 6.39 inches. The main screen resolution is 1560 by 720 pixel cells. The real camera is 48 million pixels at 2 million pixels. The front camera is 8 million pixel cells. Electromagnetic capacity is 400 mR. The battery type is now removable battery. The number of cores of the mobile phone is 8 cores. The CPU model is high screen 710 and 10A. The CPU frequency is 2.0 GHz. The mobile phone memory is 6 GB and the mobile phone carrying system is a joint tank. Conclusion Based on augmented reality and human-computer interaction technology, a new mobile intelligent display system for remote consultation information is designed. Experiments show that the system reduces the power consumption of display and improves the quality of display image. However, the designed system is only used in mobile phones and enjoyed operating system. And it does not support mobile phones with other operating systems.
future research will try to improve the compatibility of the system. Design of hospital remote consultation and the teaching system based on deep learning. In Bao. Keyword Deep learning hospital remote consultation teaching system. Abstract The application of deep learning technology makes the hospitals remote consultation and teaching system more humane. Therefore, this research designed a hospital remote consultation and teaching system based on deep learning technology. First of all, through the analysis of the problems of system construction Clear system design objectives with the support of the system hardware. The deep learning process is used to realize the functions of case collection, remote consultation, docked recommendation, remote education and training, and case sharing. Use experiments to analyze the actual application performance of the hospital remote consultation and teaching system based on deep learning and comparing it with the traditional system. It verifies that the system in this paper is more effective. Introduction In order to meet the growing health needs of the people and the new requirements of economic and social development for the development of health services, the State Council ensured the 12th five-year plan for the development of health services. By 2015, a basic medical and health system covering urban and rural residents will be initially established so that all residents can enjoy basic medical insurance and basic public health services the accessibility, service quality, service efficiency, and the public satisfaction of medical and health services have been significantly improved. The burden of individual medical expenses has been significantly reduced. And the allocation of health reduces between regions, the difference in health status between the population and the population continues to shrink and basically realize that all people have medical treatment. Therefore, it is necessary to strengthen the construction of medical and health personnel team. We should give full play to the backbone role of urban hospitals in the diagnosis and treatment of critical emergency and difficult diseases. diseases. 
medical education and scientific research, guidance and training of grassroots health personnel. The training of primary health personnel rarely adopts on the sport learning. Due to the limitation of operating room space and the strict requirements to, of clean operating room, a large number of interns, interns and medical students are kept out of the operating room in order to better meet the needs of clinical teaching, improve the quantity and the quality of surgical teaching, at the same time ensure the high cleanliness of operating room and reduce the pollution of a particular area by surgical observes. Many hospitals need to build operation teaching and remote consultation system to provide students. Medical experts and the medical personnel with medical image quality details. Discussion and analysis of operation process. Post-operative treatment, teaching observation, case study and other functions. And the above background. This study designed a hospital remote consultation and a teaching system based on deep learning. Firstly, through the analysis of the problems of system construction, the system design goal was made clear. Then, with the support of system hardware, the functions of case collection, remote consultation, consultation doctor recommendation, remote education training and case sharing were realized so as to make the hospital remote consultation and the teaching system is more humanized and more timely. Tradition model. The tradition model of medical operation, observation, and the teaching is mainly to organize personnel to study in the operating room or to video the operation situation as teaching. The model has many shortcomings. Number one. Due to the space limitations of the operating room, the number of visitors and observations that can be accommodated is small. And the efficiency of teaching and research is low. Number two, due to the messy personnel, it will cause air pollution in the operating room and even affect the attention of the operating physician. Number three, cannot connect with modern minimally invasive equipment. Number four, for the operating records of major operations and special operations, because the on-site video crews do not understand the key points that research and all students want to pay attention to. Some parts of the field of view and the depends of the field or of view will be insufficient. Number five, due to the poor shielding of the camera, when the radiographic 
equipment. Chainsaw and other equipment are turned on during the operation. They will be severely disturbed, resulting in poor recording effect or inability to record. Understanding of operation teaching in hospital. Some hospitals recognize the value of surgical teaching, but because the equipment was not advanced enough and the companies that implemented the surgical teaching did not know enough about the surgical teaching, they replaced and the, the surgical teaching system with a security system, but they can't meet the requirements of the surgical teaching system, video clarity and software features. Up to now, some companies are still using security monitoring and video conferencing equipment to make surgical teaching systems for hospitals in order to make huge profits. Construction Objectives As an important task of many hospitals, clinical teaching is responsible for training medical staff. The training method is usually on-site observation. However, due to the limitations of on-site conditions or surgical equipment, the space of on-site surgical observation is narrow and participates are limited. At the same time, it also brings unnecessary trouble to the normal treatment of patients and the effect is not ideal. In order to improve the quality of the operation and reduce the infection rate of the operation, the operating room of the hospital has formulated the control index for the number of observations in the operating room to strictly control the number of people entering the operating room. This has resulted in a great reduced opportunity for interns to learn and observe operations which is not conducive to improving intern's quality of learning. Conclusion The hospital's remote conclusion and teaching system not only meets the needs of patients to seek medical treatment in different regions, but also promotes the intelligent development of the medical industry. And at the same time, solves the problems of limited operating space and the number of visitors and the risk of cross-infection. The video of the operation process is used as an important data archive, which can be used for medical record archiving, scientific research and teaching, or 
medical dispute verification data. Therefore, this paper designs a hospital remote consultation and a teaching system based on deep learning on the basis of analyzing the problems of the system construction and clarifying the system design objectives with the support of the system hardware. The deep learning process is used to realize the functions of case collection, remote consultation, doctor recommendation, remote education and training, and case sharing. In experimental part, through the comparison with the traditional system, the system is more effective. The end. Thank you. Simulation study on tensor mechanical properties of graphene based on long and short-term memory neural network. Abstract. The current simulation methods of graphene tensor mechanical properties have not processed the data used in simulation process resulting in large errors between the simulation results and the experimental results. For this reason, a graphene tensor mechanical based on long and short-term memory neural network is proposed. The graphene nano-ribbons model was established using Material Studio software to determine the simulation process of graphene tensor mechanical properties use the long and short-term memory neural network process and store the simulation research data to get the simulation results. Analysis of simulation results shows that tensor pro properties of graphene are affected by the structure of graphene itself. The constitute elements, atoms, and the distance between atoms, and there will be certain differences in tensor forces in different directions. Three sets of comparative experiments are designed. The experimental results show that the simulation results obtained by the simulation method of graphene tensor mechanical properties in this study are very close to experimental results, and there is a basically no experimental error. The presentation has divided into four parts. Introduction, design of simulation, experiment, and analysis. Concluding remarks. The first part, introduction. At present, there are many research, researches on using neural network to simulate mechanical properties. However, because long-term and short-term memory neural network improves the long-term de dependence problem in RNN, it is really better than time recurrent neural network and hidden macro model. Moreover, a nonlinear model, the network can be used as complex 
nonlinear unit to construct a large deep neural network. Compared with convolution neural network and other methods, it has obvious advantages. So in this study, a graphene tensor mechanical property Long-term and short-term memory neural network is used to ma minimize the training error and improve the simulation accuracy of graphene tensor mechanical properties. The second part, design of simulation method for tensile mechanical properties of graphene. One, the first, building a graphene model. Material Studio software is used to establish the graphene model. In this Material Studio software, a single layer square graphene nano belt model with the size of 122.14 nanometer by 122.14 nanometer established by expanding the unit cell as shown in figure below. Two, determine the simulation process of graphene tensor mechanical properties. In the process of studying the tensor mechanical properties of graphene, the graphene model was established and the simulation process of graphene tensor mechanical properties was de designed. In the simulation process, the mass of carbon atom is selected as 12. Control the direction as a free boundary condition. Uh, the direction Y as free boundary di direction and the, the Z direction as a periodic boundary condition. The R will potential function is selected and the long and short term memory neural network is the default integration algorithms. Three simulation method based on short and long-term memory neural network. Long and short-term memory LSTM neural network is an improved recurrent neural network RNN. The long-term and short-term memory neural network is used to store all the information of the tensile mechanical properties of graphing during the simulation process. The data structure of the memory graphing tensile mechanical properties is shown in figure right. Four. Tensile mechanical properties of simulated graphene. Relaxation properties of graphene. Based on the experimental process, the graphene model shown in Figure 1 is treated with unconstrained relaxation, and the total energy change curve of graphene in the Relaxation progress is obtained as shown in figure right. Four. 
sense of mechanical properties of simulation graphene, strength, stretching simulation of graphene in the x direction. The sense the tensile mechanical properties of graphene were simulated under 1000 step relaxation based on the above research progress. The simulation progress of tensile mechanical properties of graphene is determined. For this tensile simulation of graphene in x direction, the experimental results are shown in figure right. Stretching simulation graphing in y direction. The tensile mechanical properties of graphing were simulated under 1000 step relaxation state. Based on the above research progress, the simulation progress of tensile mechanical properties of graphene is determined. For the tensile simulation of graphene in y direction, the experimental results are shown in figure right. The third part experiment and analysis. In order to verify the simulation method of tensile mechanical properties of graphene, zigzag graphene was selected as the research object of this experiment. Lamps were used as graphene model software. ANSYS motion mechanical simulation software was selected as the operation software of simulation experiment. The simulation method of tensile mechanical properties of graphene in this study was recorded as experimental group A. The two simulation methods of tensile mechanical properties of graphene mentioned in the literature were recorded as group B and group C respectively. The experimental object and the experimental environment were determined. The stress strain curve and tensile mechanical properties of graphene were compared among the three groups of simulation methods and the results were in error with experimental values. The graph is here. Based on the experimental parameters designed for this experiment, the first set of experiments were carried out. Three sets of mechanical performance simulation methods were used to simulate the experiment respectively. The SOTOS graphing model was established using the SOTOS graphing to obtain the graphing stress strain curve. The graphene stress strain curves simulated by three sets of simulation methods were compared with the graphene stress strain curves obtained from experiments. And the simulation results of graphene tensile mechanical properties were obtained as shown in figure right. Uh, there are group A, group B, group C values. For the last part, conclusions. To sum up, 
the study of graphene tensile mechanical properties simulation method give full play to the advantage of long-term and long-term memory neural network for data memory and iterative ability and improve the accuracy of simulation experiment results. However, the simulation method of tensile mechanical properties of graphene in this study did not consider the graphene with different shapes and structures, and the tensile mechanical properties obtained would have certain differences, which would have a certain impact on the research results of tensile mechanical properties of graphene. Therefore, in the future research, it is necessary to further study the simulation method of tensile mechanical properties of graphene, taking into account the shape and the structure of graphene itself, so as to ensure the precession of simulation results and further improve the simulation accuracy. Thank you for your attention.